What's going on, everybody? Captain Robert and crew here for Marrow Strand, episode 39. Can you hear us, chat? Can you hear us? Here yeah. we go again in the swamp. Burr, burr, burr. I'm ready. Bring me the butt rock. I've Can been listening a lot of David yet? Coverdale Just and White Snake really lately. <laughs> Can we go home, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> nope. I hate it here. Are we still the oldest child? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. We are. yes. Yeah. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> well, I may have lost a computer this week. It is so cool to be able to look at the camera and see all of your wonderful reactions. <laughs> is it worth it? It only, <laughs> it only took Did you work it? 2000 extra dollars. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, mm. man. Though I have decided though in my mind that when I go to repair said PC number two, I'm gonna ride it out and I think I'm I think I'm gonna start putting uh, a couple hundred bucks away to just get a 590 rig when it comes out and see just how much dumb things that I can push on one machine. <laughs> Make my 4070 look like a toy. <laughs> You're ahead of me now, dude. You're a generation above, baby. I was on GTX for how long? Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that was an awesome <laughs> card, though, man. Workhorse. I think the card still works. The computer was long dead. <laughs> <laughs> True. Like my motherboards. <laughs> <laughs> Nick cards and motherboards, kill them all, baby. That's what I say. Kill them all. <laughs> it's a. Uh, I think I've heard that song before from the Cape Girardeau Plum Smugglers. That's a. That's an old country tune. Plum <laughs> Smugglers. Excuse me. It, it would at least be persimmons if it was here. We don't grow no plums. <laughs> I, I've never heard of that band, but now I want to. <laughs> I, I ranked that right up there with actual the Ozark Mountain Daredevils. What a name. What a great so band good. name. Right. Regional powerhouse. <laughs> Who's got big announcements they want to let the community know about until I uh, announce that me and Ice are going to PAX East without Timmy. <laughs> Without Timmy. <laughs> I remember Tim's Tim's coming. <laughs> Tim's Tim's Go never again. come harder. I promise you. His face too when oh, you started oh. saying that. He was like, "Are you seriously forgetting me?" <laughs> very middle child. Dude, I'm 100%. I'm very very much a middle child. <laughs> I put you on my my G tasks. I was so embarrassed that I did it 3 weeks in a row. Uh, <laughs> I put you on my to-do list. Literally, you're right there next to go to Sam's Club in the morning and pick up the cooler. Like, you're on it. Include Tim in planning for packs. Uh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Well, that's uh, hilarious. Well, thanks to everybody that showed up, I earned my affiliate, so I can now try and find emotes somewhere. I've got ideas of what I want to do. But uh, thanks for everybody that showed up, and a bunch of people showed up to actually help me through this game, which is surprising because this game t tells you fucking nothing. It's <laughs> literally nothing. <laughs> truly. Like, okay, look to the left. <laughs> now look down. That's where you need to go. I was like, uh, I've been wandering around for an hour. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I I, I did it, um, and I will only ever stream when the wife is not here. So. She she hates it. <laughs> <laughs> she hates it. <laughs> but, but she also used to own a management company for content creators, so that's why she hates it. So it's it's nothing against you people. It's just you're insufferable. That's that's me. Besides, you know, going to PAX. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was only Rob and uh, Ice that were going to PAX. <laughs> I mean, I was just telling people I was going to go to PAX and then ultimately <laughs> almost not go. Because um, you're, you're crippling cough. <laughs> crippling cough, crippling cost, 
uh, cr yeah. crippling me. Um, Everything, everything's yeah. like trying to tell you, like, hey, maybe you shouldn't. Hey, dude, if I get on a Boeing and that's how I go down, like, li life was <laughs> trying to tell me not to get on that Boeing. <laughs> Come on, dude. Dude, I fly Southwest. Like, they, yeah, that's the kind of Boeing I'll be on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, all I can hope that it's like my car wreck where uh, ultimate, <laughs> ultimately my ridiculous body wedges me into a, a shape that saves me. <laughs> and if I sit next to you, we could do it together. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Well, the day I see a community member at a rave, that will be an exciting day. But I'll be at Beyond Wonderland this weekend. I'll be pegging around. Got Peg it all decked in. out. Uh, Peg in. I got lights uh, for underneath my- I was gonna say, my, did you get the decorations? I got, I got lights, I got neon wrapping. I'll, I'll post the photo once yeah. I get it all set you, up done. We're doing smiley suits on Friday. You got skunked last year. You'll get some rave friends this year because TwitchCon's back in San Diego. And that is oh, when true. the folks that's that I true. do know that are Twitch content creators and also ravers are there. So you can meet, you know, all these other psychotic people like yourself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just wish that I had more time and money to devote to your schedule. That looks <laughs> like so much fun. <laughs> It'll be a blast. We'll be Fridays. roaming with dinosaurs soon. Oh yes, and then Lost Lands, and I'll I'll have both legs for Lost Lands, and I'm ready. <laughs> you think you'll have both legs? Well, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Everybody do the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually I've been trying to plan my lineups for this weekend based off of who I think will be at Lost Lands and who I can like skip that I know Go ahead that I'll and get see. a jump up. Yeah. Or, or like if they're a conflict yeah. that I can just like not have to worry about seeing them this weekend because I know see I'll you see later. them. Yep. <laughs> So, yeah, it'll be fun. I'll, I'll post photos. You'll see me. Who'll be next? I guess I'll throw this out there. I will not be here next week with you guys uh, because I will be hosting the San Diego Craft Beer Awards. <gasps> you oh. son of a bitch. Ooh. Yes. What happens tonight what? happens for a week, and then uh, that guy right there is going to have to run the big bear for me because I'm going <gasps> to be, you know, uh, hosting one of my uh, my passion projects. I've known the guy who's uh, who's built this up over the years, and I've been in the San Diego craft beer scene since 09. So I get to be the voice and uh, and have all the beers and all the fun with my friends is in the brewing history in San Diego next week. Is this something we can watch online or I wish I, no. I, I asked them to uh, to put some sort of stream together. But unfortunately, it's just uh, it's it's not in the cards currently, but you know, uh, maybe in the near future. OK, it would be so great if it was. let's have a vote. Do you guys want to play on Monday or Thursday? Uh, I, think we just, I think we all go to San Diego and play there. <laughs> <You're just too laughs> uh, I got a one oh, PC yeah. set up. I got lots of beer. We'll just come on down. <laughs> Let me make sure when I fly out here. Okay, I fly out on Friday, so we can play either day. I am pretty sure I can play either. Monday would probably be safer for me, though. Yeah, yeah next and Monday. I fly back on um on Sunday, so I'll be fine. Yeah, I I take a train home on Sunday. Yeah, I think uh, I think my schedule's free. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys heard it here check. first marrow strand on a monday baby monday marrow strand <laughs> monday bone marrow let's go let's go coming oh, on the con like that's, that's gonna be hot yeah do you know how bad that's gonna be everybody's gonna sound like tarvin <laughs> that's, that's the plan but we'll see how people's voices are <laughs> so, <you> know, <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious uh i I just have uh, a, uh, I guess, no, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, uh, I mean, I guess I haven't really, I finally publicly said it, but after eight long years, I am no longer at Corsair. Uh, so that is a big transitional piece for me, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be looking, uh, looking for new opportunities, but I figured I would update the community. And why my schedule is so free right now. Uh, but then other than that, I got some cool stream stuff coming up, D&D, &D, cyberpunk stuff on uh, other places, but I still am just waiting for assets and announcement 
times and stuff like that. So soon TM, soon TM. That's that's all I got. Okay, bye. Spicy's <laughs> going Hulk mode over here. I'm I getting I larger. <laughs> It was it's so like small I compared to everyone like else. Emo, key. Like, the chroma key. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, it weren't for Adam's time at Corsair, we would have never met because we met at Same. the after party that Adam was throwing back mm -hmm. before COVID and uh, the super secret thing was creators got to get crazy on the last night on Sunday evening and it was th those were the greatest parties of all time uh, those were the days thanks Mac for introducing us <laughs> for real this catches you on the ether but yeah end of an era eight years end of an era cheers to myself cheers, cheers to dude hey, cheers to Adam most people don't last eight years yeah. in the uh, in the same job anymore you practically deserve the company watch my dude oh, I got a jacket <laughs> <laughs> I got two of them in a coaster. You also got your jacket off. <laughs> Think true. of all the free Voodoo Ranger beers along the way. Oh <laughs> yeah, I might I might read out to Patrick and be like, "Hey man, I'm unemployed right now. I could really I could really use one of those care packages." <laughs> we, can, we can arrange that, my dude. We can arrange that. I love I I sent my first tea pack uh, this week. Uh, I'm excited because the, the varieties are finally uh, getting out there so I can send people the uh, the 12 pack cans those teas are like I don't even like tea but like they're so good <laughs> they're so good and I found 19 I, twos of the lemon and the peach I was enjoying that while I watched peach. Glad Run on Sunday mm. it was so good a peach is on point yeah peach and it's not too sweet it's just no. it's, so, it's, it's mm. like a it's like a peach piece tea I, uh, and it's not like syrupy either. I don't like it. No, it's, yeah, it's it's delish. I'm excited for Timmy to get his hands on the half and half this weekend. Oh, oh so my good. gosh, yes. Timmy's so good. That's I'd be addicted. Honestly, my. Wouldn't you have to go to PAX to do that? That's my top. We're back full circle. Good callback. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Damn it. Oh, I remember. Sure. Uh, Timmy, can you tilt your camera down a little bit so I can uh, properly uh, capture your head so you're not... Uppies. Not really. It's like locked in place. It, I would have to really get all weird with it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, yeah. you know. I can like... You see, gotta grow. Which, but, which button gotta makes grow. me go down? <laughs> oh. No, no, it's the case. Yeah, I don't... You don't want to shrink. That's that's bad. That makes it worse. Okay, let me go. Hold on. Let me go back up. Yeah. Puppies. Puppy duppies. Yeah. Cool, cool. Tim's an interesting case because he's more vertical than everyone else because of his fucking yeah, hair, rad ass I mean, hair. My hair, my, my hair doesn't always have to be there. All right. All right. I know it's a fresh cut, but. Hey, man. We, we, we like to capture you in all, all of your grace, my dude. My, my hair just my, grows the grays. other way. All my grays. <laughs> I realized uh, that during the winter when I use more coltar, I am essentially lightly just fermenting myself. Uh, what is coltar? Uh, uh, the Neutrogena dander shampoo. Um, oh, okay. I during to, the okay, cold I winter months. Shoulders. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have to. My beard, what? dude. You guys your shower? Beard. Yeah. <laughs> your beard. Okay. I like, if, I, dude, if I don't moisturize beard. my face, dude, I get that. I get that crazy dandruff all over my the oh, my shirt. Yeah. It's is not good. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I. While I only wash my hair uh, twice a week, the beard is not the case. No, that thing is <laughs> a baby back biatch and has to be taken care of all the time. Otherwise, so you become neat. Krusty the Clown it's on your so face. <laughs> I have I have oil for my dome for the side, and so I put that in my beard. Yeah, it's like the the hair oil. <laughs> I just realized I am I just... not fitting in with the beard situation. I gotta get me one. Yeah, what the heck, what dude? The heck? 
Oh my god. Dude, you send those send those awkward boners on your spicy sites by doing some dwarven <laughs> cosplay. Dig dude, you get all of us to I be in the background digging holes. Creator, yes. She has one of those uh it's like the male chest like six pack thing and she <laughs> yeah. wears that sometimes. Hell yeah. <laughs> it gets me every time. Oh my god. We have to do a mock <laughs> we have to do a mock photo at GCX of all of us as sexy dwarves <laughs> we like just want to make to a new level. <laughs> I love this. we just want to make <laughs> january on your january calendar that's all we just want to be january all right we got we got high hopes over here i don't know I, we could do Captain short shorts Robert for March. campaign calendars. <laughs> Perfect. oh my god oh that's a brilliant idea campaign <laughs> calendars Oh, no, just don't, don't have all of, it could have all of the campaigns on it. Oh my god! So then you get you do one photo of everybody at GCX since everybody's there. So we get a real yeah. life photo, and then we commission eleven art. other pieces of art for a like calendar. Content for yep. a living. Hmm. <laughs> oh, got it. It would be so expensive. <laughs> How much did you budget for the calendar? Thirty, thirty oh. grand. Thirty. <laughs> How much did you make on your calendar sales? 30. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, let me let me be honest with you. Uh, about 800. Uh, <laughs> that's how that goes. Yep. It's cool. You know, I we love care. For the, we just do it for the art, dude. I, I'm, hey, man. Like mm -hmm. I said, uh, when I sent out that uh, uh, live ugly, eat trash, <laughs> <laughs> get, get hit by a car. Dude, yeah. that's my, that's my mantra this death. week. Fake your awesome life. The fake your death one is the best. Oh yeah, fake your death. Yeah, that's <laughs> uh, so good, dude. Hey, your your uh, your reels game was on point this week. I will say. Yeah, it was... <laughs> I guess oh, my, my misery was like you should eat your eat your feelings through your Instagram reel because yeah. it was it just like it was funny and food. It was solid. It was it, a good it, reels game. You sent me today, like uh, right up until the oh. butter scene. I was in it, and then the butter scene happened. I was like, Ugh. Oh, dude, the <laughs> but, yeah, the the cop. Like, I was like, I should I preface this? Like, hey guys, stick for the it. Like, it's not <laughs> it's not funny until it gets to the butter when he's yeah, like yeah. Quick, 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 into the dune. More, <laughs> more. more. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, everyone, we're talking about the very very fuckable dune popcorn bucket. Still, let's get over it. Like. <laughs> It's just gonna live rent free for a little bit longer. Did you see that new Dune movie? Yeah, Dune two buckets at the same time. <laughs> two Dune buckets. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Oh I, shit! I saw Dune on Sunday, so I, I was happy. Uh, I, I spent the money. I went and got it. I went and did it. Let's go. It's good times. Uh, I did not like the way they portrayed Stilgar, but you know, whatever. It's still guards okay. kind of a cuck too, but you know, that's uh Oh my god, though everything was like he was the one. And in the books he was like, I don't really know if he's the one. Prove it, bitch. <laughs> Stillgar and two is like, I will I will <laughs> drink all of your secretion fluids, Moody. <laughs> Please. You. He's very certain. Um Yeah. I will say this much. There are in that movie, they do a bunch of the reliefs that make it look like uh, uh you know like the prophecy in the church of like riding the sandworm and whatnot that is the way the christian church looked like that i uh went to in denmark that looked like skyrim it oh looked God. that's so you know like they were converting all the vikings over there and their church instead of like where you have the crucifix is a viking riding a giant dragon and like all of those, that's what that church looked like. I was like, oh my God, that whatever designer went was like, they went through some old European style churches huh. and looked at that style of relief. So yeah, it's 100%. It is the Viking conquering like epic beasts inside that church instead of any signs of like uh, Christianity. You know, you got to go for it. You, you got to have, uh, you got to have Viking Jesus. <laughs> Viking Jesus. <laughs> Riding them dino rafters. So cool. Mm. But yeah, over here on uh, this side, we've been through a wild ride. We crashed a uh, motherboard over the weekend. Uh, Feisty did his best to try to save me 
from myself <laughs> and my own insanity and my own equipment. Uh, we but tried so many steps. We tried. Oh, so Mom, steps. Mama, we tried. Mama, <laughs> we tried, but we could not bring that PC back to life. Uh, but we were able to scrape all the files, get up and running over on uh, my gaming rig. So we didn't miss out on any sessions. We were able to have Galadler on, and obviously right here, except for the crazy false start. <laughs> you don't say it. It never happened. Close. Is true? Very true. But, uh, yeah. Uh, and that almost put PAX into question, but... Uh, homeboy's just gonna hustle a little bit harder this week. <laughs> we'll say, I mean, on this Saturday, month. Pax was out of the question. <laughs> you were like, "That's just that's not happening. No, this is no, not happening." <laughs> it's it, yeah, and you know, it probably still shouldn't. But you know what? I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find a way. No, I'll set you up with my feet picks, people. We'll be <laughs> we got this. Locked. Captain feet picks. Oh, <laughs> uh, that would be a fun short-term grab. You know, just me and my apron out by my fryer. Um, <laughs> I think that sounds a lot like February's. <laughs> butt cheeks hanging out the back of the apron. That's man. That's really for if my house catches on fire kind of level, you know, like that's the. Do not speak that into existence right now. <laughs> I've already had one fire. So like I survived it once. Like I'd, I'd do it again, you know, like <laughs> at this point. I'm just like, what did cosmically uh, I sign up for in this life? One more, you know, what else do I need to experience? Uh, pure economic collapse. That's it. That's what, <laughs> that's the next rodeo. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we'll be over at PAX with the homies. Uh, come by the Voodoo Ranger bar and I will get you a tea. Uh, if you need to charge your, um, if you need to charge your cell phone, come by. I got to see the layout today. It's really cool. We have three times the space that we usually have. Uh, and we are. We are on the floor now. We have a... Uh, we're in between uh, packs and the food trucks. So I'm I'm excited. We got... We have some high top tables. We got some low top tables. We got a little, a little mini sidebar for us. And we're partnered up with Able Gamers again. So that's very, very cool. Uh, excited got about that. Topless tables? Uh, there can be arranged. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people at PAX. That's how many T's you have, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tees, I'll be topless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So hey, if you are, uh, if if you're at the convention, uh, yeah, come by and see us. I'll be at the Voodoo Ranger Bar from 11 to close on Friday and Saturday this year, and uh, then I will be roaming out and about, and uh, I will more than likely have T's on me. So if you uh, <laughs> if you see me. Uh, it's like a man in a trench coat. <laughs> 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 Go bold in a trench coat. With... He just lifts up the just hat. Hands. <laughs> yes. Somehow fit a tall boy into there. That's how I get my exercise in. Hauling around <laughs> 75 pounds of liquid weight and ice. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere I go. <sighs> uh, I'm going to be in and out of the lounge pretty much all the time. I don't, I don't know exactly where, but I am streaming at the Landfest booth on Friday, 10 o'clock in the morning to 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and we're doing it for charity. We're going to be raising money for Stack Up while we're there, so. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome! You're doing it for Stack Up. Let's go! Yeah, they let me choose a charity. I thought we were just doing it for Landfest in general, and I was like, well, okay, I mean, because Steve hangs out with me, like, every day in my channel, so I was like, Steve, I'm streaming for you! Oh, that's so awesome! Ice, do you know what, Ice, do you know if we were doing uh, karaoke this year? Yes. Um, S I'm gonna has, go ahead and say yes. Steven it has not replied to me. Oh, uh, I'm gonna, I, I probably will go ahead and say yes for him, okay. Okay. <laughs> because okay. it's yeah, I've seen two yeah, threads yeah. for it. He's so. hanging out with my partner the whole first day because they're okay. both just going to be there by themselves. Yeah. Oh, my God. What is this curse tap handle? Oh, my. Oh, I'm not. I'm turning away from that. That's going to be another 20 minutes to talk about leave what I just leave saw. It, leave it be. Can yeah. Focus on the story. Where were we last week? <laughs> uh, uh, yes. And uh, this week we will have Marrow Strand or not Marrow Strand, but we'll have Stormforge tomorrow when I wake up. And we will still have uh, our game over on Nerd Emergence channel, uh, Ted's channel. Uh, and then I'm going to sleep for two hours and hop on an airplane. So let's go. Gladleron is still trying to pick a possible makeup date since I will be coming in late on Sunday. Uh, but we'll keep you posted. It always takes them like four days to figure out when they're going to play every week. So 
Love you guys, but you're ridiculous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you need to pick up back where we left off last week. After vanquishing all the different swamp monsters, you guys got to have a good old sit down with Cousin Earl. Who relayed to you the situation in Bog Hollow proper. Split divisions. A resistance. Somewhere in the west. With Big Vis in his camp. Somewhere in the east. And further down south, more corruption where Grimfiler has set up shop. Understanding the stakes that every day it takes longer to get to Grimfiler, that the corruption continues to spread. You guys were able to get a long rest in the swamp. And even peep out and see... Some of them snake folk that Earl has been talking about that the darker parts of the Fae have unleashed. Seeing them in an attempt of necromatic rituals of the monsters that you slayed overnight. You guys have gotten your long rest. Decided to pack up camp and to seek out the resistance in the east is there anything that you guys want to do as you guys fold up shop inside of this small pocket that is Liaman's tiny hut underneath the murky waters of Bog Hollow Is this something, I, just for future reference, is this something you can only do under the water or can you do this anywhere in the swamp, Marcos? I can do this anywhere in the swamp, but the more concealed, the better. Okay, okay. They cannot Maybe. enter, but strong magics, I fear. Okay, okay, good to know. I have a feeling that we're probably going to need to set this up maybe a couple more times throughout our little journey here uh, seems like everything's pretty much out to get us in this swamp so mechanical wise if a spellcaster does find us detect or uh, um uh, not detect magic uh detect magic will find us uh but they can dismiss this magic mm mm-hmm Well, I, I, I think I've got everything that I need packed up. Um, Pal? Where are... Where is Pal? <laughs> you know what he is. Oh. <laughs> yep. There, nice. there he is. I see him. He's with his... His real friend. Okay. As... You guys remember, this is a very, um... Kind of like Colosseum tiered on the inside as it goes down. Pal is upside down laying on uh, his side kind of on that lower level where Akiko's at it's almost as if it's like a trundle bed uh, that he's always wanted <laughs> it's that one step lower he has his side eye he can check on bud well, it's really the perfect scenario for him uh, but he's he's also with mama so you know he's a happy gator everybody's close <laughs> and he's in the swamp like even though it's corrupted it's still home it's still home. That's that's got to be the biggest part for him, man. He hasn't seen this place in so long. He, he getting to be stealthy again is something that he hasn't got to do in months. Oh, I, well, actually, speaking of stealth, I just um, when we when was gonna start going and walking around, everybody make sure you know, we'll just do kind of the same thing we normally do, and uh, if you guys just kind of follow Earl and I's lead, we should be able to. Help uh, make our group here at least a little bit more quiet. Um, I still got that ability to kind of help you all be sneaky. Is that? Do we think we want to do that? Do we want to be sneaky trying to go find the resistance, or should we be fast? I don't think we have a choice. I think we have to be sneaky. That's. I. I. I hope. I'm glad everybody's on that same page. It, 
I you feel. Know, I mean, after after last night, I think we we were pretty risky, man. That was pretty risky. Yeah, that that was probably not the smartest move. What what you know? Honestly, what I feel most upset about is afterwards realizing that we really should have involved at minimum Christian additionally being that that's like literally his forte sorry about that Christian it's fine you just move forward and I'm sure there will be plenty of other things that will come across as we progress and whether we move stealthy or quick I well unless Akiko's utilizing that fish I don't tyrant tyrant whatever I think that uh, they're gonna probably don't have an idea it. of what's happening <laughs> as I just kind of like rub the back of the bowl <laughs> <laughs> yes you're a big bad tyrant fish you can't hear me <laughs> I don't which is then to. her just was, yeah, yeah. Was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a different set are you feeling okay, Akiko? <laughs> I'm feeling great. I'm also on the same side of if we want to peek in on danger next time, maybe we just wake everyone up. Oh, Lord, so okay. Yes, yes, yes. Preferably yes. not after a fight in which myself and Tarbin got the shit beat out of us. I mean, all right, so we're okay. all on the same That's page. Why, I was okay. That's why I went, so. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, are we, are we doing this? We're we gonna, we, are we rolling out? Uh, yeah, we should. After you? On. After Earl. I think. Earl, right? Earl, you, you, you know, I think you maybe, maybe <laughs> let me out first. <laughs> I'll scope the area and then, and then. We Earl! Can... Earl! Uh, go and take my big frog finger and poke him in the. <laughs> Ow! 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 You know what? Oh. On it. Everybody, everybody's awake. We're ready to go find the resistance. I'm moisturized. I'm in my light. Okay. <laughs> Good. Man. Hold on, man. Let me get a little bit of that bug juice. Uh, he pulls you out some of that, so <laughs> that firefly uh, <laughs> that he's freshly squeezed from last time. It's just, you know, it's battery acid. Like, <laughs> brush oh. my teeth with a bottle of Jack. <laughs> hey man, you like cashew too? Um, <laughs> do I? <laughs> do, do I? <laughs> Finally, I've been waiting for someone to ask me that. <laughs> 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 it's like that rage. It's like that Henry Winkler mo moment. Water boy, or Tian takes the side plate and his armor off to show his his hip to his ass. He's got a catch yeah. a tattoo right there. I, I met her once. She was touring. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the uh, dragon priests don't know won't hurt him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so cultured. I didn't. I didn't know you were so into the arts. He had one one hell of a dragon night, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Horrible punt. Uh, D Dylan is awake and drinking the coffee over on the side. Uh, just a scared little coyote. Just a scared little coyote. Out here in the swamp. <sighs> we have so many people to try to sneak around in the swamp. <laughs> you are collecting NPCs like the Infinity Gauntlet. You, um, oh my God. you don't like to let any of them go. I regret introducing them as combat NPCs every time and try to think, hmm, what else can I have them do? <laughs> what, question to you, if we, if we get five, can I snap Grimfiler away? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you may. Let the collecting begin. <sighs> Did you guys all... Have risen from your rest. Make sure your character sheets also reflect your new uh, found strength. Sweet. Yeah, next week uh, we have to update my sheet because I keep forgetting to, to update it with the new spells and stuff, but we can do that next week. Man has literal the most time he's had in <laughs> eight years. And I keep forgetting. 
until I keep like, forgetting. Until I get here and then I look and then I'm like, ah, oh, damn. Adam, don't oh. let him give you shit. I don't have a job. I haven't had a job for over a year. And I have no time on my hands. <laughs> I don't understand it. I do not I, get it. We all know why that is, Tim. Because <laughs> my wife is the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife is the shit. We love her very much. Oh, 100%. As a, a, as a single, uh, single bachelor with no car payment, no house payments, that streams on the internet, I scream and I go, why isn't everybody in their D&D &D sheets all day like me? <laughs> all I had to think about today was what I was gonna eat at Aldi's, okay? That was my, and you know what? I made some of my restaurant tartar sauce today and it was the bomb and I made fish sandwiches uh, and uh, I loved it on toasted it's buttered so polite, sourdough. But it's mine and I love it. <sighs> By the way, my uh, my tartar is just next level. I even made some for my regulars in little cups to go that I'm gonna drop by uh, because I'm a Southern neighbor like that because I don't know how to make individual portions for myself. <laughs> nope, <laughs> can only do five gallon flour. <laughs> I, can, I can only cut the restaurant recipe in half. I can't do the quarter math, you know? No, just, <laughs> but I have <laughs> literal cases of uh, <laughs> of little uh um to go tubs and all that <laughs> so like that's so my kitchen's just decked out like i can i can box anybody's meal up in under three minutes back at my house like ready to rock this and roll hypothetical food and health department this is all a hypothetical what would happen okay <laughs> nobody said i was selling anything these are all gifts these are all gifts <laughs> these are all gifts uh but i realized today that my tartar sauce is basically making deviled eggs in a liquid form honey mustard red onion relish mayo delicious yeah, yeah. shaking a little paprika a deviled egg <laughs> oh dude you slather that on a couple of a uh, couple of beer battered cod fillets or some catfish mm. Mm. good bog haul to eating baby I was actually, I was going to say, when, oh man, that would be something really great if we could find ourselves a fish fry around here. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's hell so yeah. Sick. Hey, if we find them over in East, man, they'll have plenty of fishes over there, man. I'm, I even make some of them alligator gar balls. I thought you said nobody was around. What do you mean you now know where somebody can go to a fish fry? Well, I told you if they're there. I don't know if the resistance is true. That's what we're going to go find out. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Well, fingers crossed then. God, you guys, oh, you would be so enamored by the southern fish fry. It's so good. Can you guys even cross your fingers? Yeah, I, I can cross them. And it's just like, you see the webbing in the back just kind of like stick <laughs> just like up. <laughs> just, uh, Man. I just really was hoping that you do this. <laughs> <laughs> guys got a little bit of extra finger skin and you judge him a different way. That's kind of weird, man. <laughs> well, you, I mean, you did, you did kind of lead that off with saying that you could only count to two because of your webs. <laughs> well, yeah, just because it's a reality doesn't mean you got to make fun of me for it. Come on with the come on now. Come on with the come on. <laughs> yeah, okay. Man. You know what? Let's let's get going. I'll 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 lead the way, I guess. Are you sure? I should probably well, be at least out, you. out of this and then look around and then maybe everyone else can come out afterwards. I don't know, man. We see another bush. Bud's starting to look a lot more like a ranger to me than he ever did an investigator these days. <laughs> I, I feel very roguelike, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe my bow, bow is getting very rangery. Maybe you're like, you know, uh, you know, good old buddy of mine, uh, uh, a black ops man. He had that point. He had that point in rogue man. You got that point in ranger, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've never met a ranger that is proficient in as many skills as I am, but hey, you know, maybe that's what it is. Uh, you're turning in one hell of a skill frog, dude. I'll tell yeah, you that's, that. I, mean, that's... I think everybody is feeling a little different. I was a fighter and now I'm a paladin. All right, let's just let's just hone it in. Okay. <laughs> pa paladin. You know, we all go through changes. Well, yeah. I don't even want to talk about where I started. <laughs> 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 where you got to go? <laughs> What, you, you haven't always had this kind of power? Hmm. <laughs> um, complicated <laughs> question. <laughs> I, 
God, your mind is still strong. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're strong. As he right. attempts to try to I pierce the veil that is your he, mind. If he tries, if he breaks through my head and brings her back out. I mean, so I'll roll for it. Toilet. Why not? I'll roll so for it in the toilet. some more trauma over there oh god this is more minds more problems this girl has been through a lot <laughs> i don't know i don't know if i want to be here this is a lot to handle oh my god i haven't even got it there's so many feelings in here <laughs> I think I want to cry. <laughs> but I'm also kind of angry, too. Oh, I can't take this. I can't take this. <laughs> I haven't been used to it. I'm just a little beta fish now. <laughs> Does a, a cartoon pal show up? I, tell me a cartoon pal shows up somewhere. I feel like the second that he, like, broke out, I probably just, like, eyes widened out, just, like, froze. Uh, is she oh, 100%. Just like the old days. Yeah, you were frozen in place. Look. Yeah. I'm gonna look locked in again. Uh, I'll be honest, I... I've been trying to break into people's minds for a long time since I've been in this staff and I've never been able to. Uh, hold on, let me, uh... Let me see if I can find the reset button here. So... No, it's not like a, like you like talk to me kind of like a reset button. Uh, don't, don't, hold on, don't worry here. Let me uh, let me go over this. Kiko, you realize that the fish tyrant is in your mind. I need you to roll a spell attack. Oh, uh, we didn't fix my spell attack. It's a feature. Uh, you have to, yes, oh, there you oh, go. There you go. 28. I do not have a card for Malachi. <laughs> So I'm going to assume we didn't think we were going to be here. No, I'm going to make it up on the spot. <laughs> we, I mean, there is an old Malachi card from way back when from Neverwinter. So I'm sure somewhere. Uh, not, in, not, not in this VTT. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Mal Malachi's like in a roll Many twenty. VTTs ago. Yeah, Malachi he... was not a beta fish. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to roll a high-level mage. Beta fish, how high-level can he be? You know, just pull up Asher. <laughs> Asher also in a different VTT. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't even remember how I originally spelled Malachi. And uh, that, that's... <laughs> Just malarkey. You can just say malarkey now. <laughs> malarkey. Why do you keep skipping me? Malaka. Oh, God. Malaka. Sorry. Wrong button. Oh, Wrong button. You got radio fart instead. Uh, 
What is he? Even cabbage tonight. M L A. I'm sorry. M A L A K A I. Sure. Sounds good. That's what it's going to be now. I believe I had him as a CH, but you know, hey, he's been through a lot. <laughs> well, he had to go, through a, re had to go through a rebranding. You could you just know, look so. the tyrant. Yeah. I only call him the tyrant. All Who's right. My little tyrant? Who's my little tyrant? Who's my little tyrant? Who's my little tyrant guy? Uh, all right. This will be Lord. a plus 18 for my dude. I mean, he's been around. Well, he, may, he may be a beta fish, but dude's been around this, a long time. <laughs> he is a demigod uh, that is stuck in his form. <laughs> hey, but you, you also a now form. know a demigod. All right. Let's see huh. where this goes. Oh, God. I don't know. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, doctor. 31. Would you like to use an inspiration, Akiko? Yeah. It's all available to you. What do you want? I see. Um, see, I need the six, don't I? Well, for the odds. What you need and what you want and what you uh, feel like yeah. rolling are all different things. Yeah. Pick one mm -hmm. and I'll burn it for you. What you want to do? Let's see. <sighs> yeah, we'll just. Do we have an eight? You roll. Have okay, an eight. Let me know what you want. Eight, yeah. eight it is. Eight. Yeah. Mark, done. Looking for a four. Nailed it. Hell yeah. Because I'm rolling a 20. I'm not taking chances. <laughs> Don't, you Don't you worry about a thing. As you begin to feel parts of your mind that you have walled off even to the storm that it never got to. Malachi probing for as much information as he can. And then you put those walls back up. And you reverse and start to peer into his mind. I want you to roll a 1d4. A three. When we get back from this stretch break, oh, you're going to oh. peer into his mind for three minutes. Don't oh. get. Huh. Oh, what do you ask? What do you find? What do you do? I don't know. I was worried about what he was going to find. <laughs> Do not have anything to hide? Works both <laughs> ways. So much porn. <laughs> what are what are things you you have learned since you've gotten him? His not connection. Not really much. He hasn't told me much. Well, you, you Marcos know he... knows him. Marcos knew it and laughed about it and then yeah. but didn't he was it's the humiliation I want to know why he was so oh oh my god <laughs> fat cat didn't, <laughs> something, something came up about the deep below right oh yeah. look at this oh, oh my, my gosh she's such a sleut for him look at that oh that the there's no so cat bad. luckier than Fortuna no. <laughs> Absolutely Pre not. Pregnant mom on the streets. Now comfy, cozy, adopted fat cat. Than all other cats. <laughs> the chonkers. <laughs> <laughs> She's the chonkress. Yes. The chonkress. <laughs> uh, so it said that there was an ad that popped up, but I have not seen it be served. Yeah. I was going to say. 
I was I was gonna I was messaging you. I thought you were about to dive in, so I snoozed it for five minutes. <laughs> oh, I, no. okay, yes. So because I, I, okay. you were like getting ready to dive into, so I was like, well, I, I'll just snooze it, and then like maybe he's done, and then it's a good quick out. But I'm just not gonna touch it again. Okay, <laughs> yes. For everyone, this. for all mods, I am actively watching, and if there is one thing I'm very good at, it is timing my way through things. So please. I will take care of the snoozathon. Mm -hmm. uh, so in that case, I, I was literally messaging you, and I was like, "Hey, by the way, <laughs> I, <messed up. laughs> I broke it. I broke it. I was like, I was apologizing. I was writing a whole paragraph. <laughs> I was like, Let me just get this out real quick. Uh, uh, hey, it's cool. Uh, I'll just. So I'm gonna. That ad. I'm gonna you just can run it manually. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna run it manually right now. Enjoy the free banter, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Big cat. There you go. Yeah. I was like, oh, he's about to dive into it. I'm like, but that's going to be a really horrible time to start. I was like, I'll just snooze it real quick. And then you're like, right after this stretch, and I'm like, no, oh, my God. oh God, I have ruined everything. I have this like angel and devil moment where I'm like, I'm like, do it. Do it. And I'm like, no, don't do it. Do it. Do it. It's, no, he's he, no, like, what if he doesn't see it? What and I'm if like, he doesn't see it? <laughs> I now, see it. And now, never I again. feel it. <laughs> never again. Oh, I see it. <laughs> More butter. More. Push it. More. Push it. <laughs> R.I.P. Wayne Static, man. R. For R. real, man. dude. Go do some whippets after this. In my jinkos. Piranha. <laughs> In my jinkos. Zero's doing a good job, though. He I is. He really yeah. is. I was so excited when I saw him tour, and I was like, oh, 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 oh. So you guys, you guys are super flying, excited right now. Flying to PAX tomorrow, Wednesday, right? Or are you going uh, Thursday? I go, th I, I, I'm taking the train in on Thursday. Wow. Hey, Tim, you're going to PAX? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what, you're going to PAX? <laughs> Tim, I, uh, yeah. This, I'm going to be John Cena on that bitch. Da, 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 da. <laughs> There's like this draw in my soul that's like, you know, spend spend your points on a flight there. You can network, split a room with Rob. It'll be cheaper. You know, you can just go do your thing. But I'm like, God, so last minute, I probably shouldn't. But I'm like, oh, when I want to. <laughs> just what Adam, the dude? What else are you doing, bro? Adam, yeah, just, Adam get just get the flight. Just get the just get the flight. I already have the the roll uh, roll away. Like the roll away. Just come. You can't yeah, cuddle dude. on a queen. You you can pull out yeah just it's a king <laughs> it's a king we could we could how did i get two protein commercials in a row? Cow. <laughs> two Marcos protein and commercials and in... <laughs> iso and quest what <laughs> gonna make this no. joke about this what girl not tell me of all the girls <laughs> we didn't, didn't need more protein um <laughs> <laughs> i started taking creatine <laughs> nice Oh, yeah. You're gonna be looking like Rhea Ripley you, next week. For you. Uh, dude, I've, I've been getting it. a lot of arm definition stuff too. Yeah. You're doing it before you the ice rock right? the stream. Yes. It, Good girl. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I, changed, I stopped take taking pre-workout like entirely. It does matter. No, no, it doesn't. I can I can link you the studies. It does not matter. <laughs> it's within an hour of a workout. All right, you okay, freaking nerds. Yeah. Get your health shit I'm off my stream. All right. We talk about fucking food. Jizz and D and D, okay. This is going to be my job soon. This is what I'm going to God do. God shit, I need that quote. I can't help it. I finally saw Damsel on Netflix, and I'm like, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> muscle, I mommy. Am a muscle mommy. Muscle <laughs> mommy. Man, we got more <laughs> clips in the start of this episode. <laughs> uh, all right, ad is up. That ad break that I didn't ruin. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> you know what? That's your own Catholic guilt. Just stop it. It's <laughs> your Catholic guilt. Oh Deleting second apology. No, I'm <laughs> Akiko. As you peer in to the fish tyrant's mind, you go back to scenes of deep water. In darkness to points that you remember in the early stages of you coming back to Marrow Strand that feeling of the oppressive deep below you feel 
that oppressive energy inside of Malachi. And while you've had these comedic moments and have been able to work with this entity, you also realize that there is a lot of inner darkness inside this individual. And the reality is setting in that there's a reason they've been trapped inside of this magical item. And those claims of being a tyrant are not purely comedic. You see Malachi for himself. And you see his original form, this massive orc pirate captain. You see his old vessel and the enslavement of fishmen and creatures under the sea that this entity once commanded. Krakens once feared this entity's abilities, but has now been reduced to a beta fish trapped inside of a snow globe on a magical rod. I want you to roll with advantage your spell attack to see if you see some of his darkest secrets. Let's shift. Yeah, left shift. Yep. Oh, that 20 is right there! 27, though, that's nice. This entity has gone through multiple battles with different heroes and has failed. But there are still some parts of his story that are as locked off as the darkest parts of your mind. And your eyes return back in a kind of mutual standoff inside of your brain with Malachi the fish tyrant. Bud's fanning your face. Akiko, 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 are you, don't, no, don't, don't do the thing. Don't, no, are you, are you, are you okay? Yeah, Christian has his uh, hand on the hilt of his sword and he's like standing in front of you, <laughs> like just staring. Put it, put it away, aura. she's fine, she's fine, she's great. You're, you're, you're fine. You're, 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 I told I you we're gonna have to kill her. I locked in to, wait a minute, what? <laughs> I'm going to say I locked into Malachi. I, 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 are you okay? Is, I, do you want me to get rid of the fish? Is it, is it, is he causing problems? You really should ask before you just poke around someone's house, you know? Malkai is not inside the bowl. What do you mean he's not inside the bowl? Like it's empty or it's clouded? It's clouded where you cannot see. Okay. I'm just gonna shake it a little bit. <laughs> you see his body to <laughs> slaps it into the side. <laughs> I don't wanna talk! Oh, oh, now we want to talk about consent. You don't want to. You pick me up. I just want to know what I'm working with. Then ask.
You don't think I don't want the same? I'm not stupid. I'm a tyrant. I'm not used to asking. How's that working out for you? He just squirts a little bit more ink <laughs> up against the side. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. Don't leave me. I'm going to shove him in my backpack and we're going to keep going. I have to keep him handy. We need him. That's right. You need me. Well. Don't leave to me. be clear, we can do this without you. I'll play because nice. if worse comes to worse, I will just mind sliver whatever bush we see that looks at us wrong. I know you didn't have a choice, but you're with us now. And we're going to have some respect in this group. Because you're going to poke and find stuff you don't want to find or do something you don't want to do. You just might find something that you don't want to find either. As you hear Malachi's real voice for the first time echo through your head. Hmm. Yeah, see, I don't even know that you're the scariest thing that's ever been in my head, honestly. So, I... <laughs> it gets you a little bit smaller and a little I bit get smaller. It, you're scary, but you're bad at it. So, shut up. <laughs> Ink blots all across the side. Just, just a small boy in his room throwing things at the wall. Has, has your conversation been out, outside at all, Rocker? I've or gotten has... to the frustration point where I'm saying my part out loud. Okay, I don't know but... if he is, though. I don't think he is. No, he is not. He's... Yeah. You're just getting a Kiko. I, I feel like I'm only getting half the story, but it sounds like you're really kind of putting that fish in its place. So... Man, I thought I had issues. <laughs> 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 if there's anybody that can will solve internal psychological problems, it's this girl. So um, <laughs> I got all the faith for that, but I, you know, just you, we're here to help if you need. Um, glad you want to talk to him. I, I, I don't know if I do actually. <laughs> I don't know if my mind palace is nearly as strong as yours. <laughs> mind palace. <laughs> Mine does just have animated gators floating around in it. I don't know that's all there is. Just just dancing. <laughs> I just need a gif of Feisty actually dancing. Gator frog. Do, do, do. <laughs> Oh, it's, yeah, he's throwing a fit. I'm just going to kind of tuck him in and just kind of walk past him. We need to go. Okay. okay. Oh, he, he really, he really seemed like he got to you there. But, um, all right, well, we'll, uh, yeah, Ur Earl, take us, take us to the resistance, Earl. Man, Man I just... Why don't you take us? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, like, I, if I'd found them, I'd probably be hanging out with them. I don't even know if they're real, man. I just, hey, I'm just telling you that Big Vist is to the west, and they're probably to the east, you know? Uh, I, I, I'm, when I say take us to the resistance, I mean that just, like, that's the, the journey we want to go on, so let's go to the east and try to avoid as many bad things as we can along that way. That's, that's really what I'm tr directly saying. Oh, oh, yeah, you're kind of like, you're just trying to get us to the chorus. I get it. Yeah, right. freak yeah, out. Exactly. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we are family. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 There we go. Now, now we're making some progress. Uh, but first, we maybe should um, let Christian go and do his little high peaky thing to make sure that we are safe to start moving. What's your peaky thing? Well, we we want to make sure all the snake people are gone up top, right? Oh, they ain't gonna be gone. They're gonna be all over the swamp. Well, okay. Well, um, I, I guess I will. We'll, we'll start with the stealth thing now, then. Okay, everybody. And I will go ahead and pass. pass yeah, that's a real good pass. idea. They're probably resurrecting all them bad, bad stuff out there anyway, man. <laughs> I will cast pass without a trace for everybody. <laughs> oh lord. All right. So uh, you guys can put pass without a trace uh, by clicking the uh, shiny hand over on the left. Mm-hmm. And uh, this will go on everyone, including Dylan the Onion Knight and uh, <laughs> Earl the uh, Crazy Strong. Hell yeah. <laughs> the Crazy Strong. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that kind of strength. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to you. <laughs> All right, who's gonna make our survival checks? Or are they gonna be joint? I'm, 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 I'm pretty good at surviving, but I, I could, I could go always go for some assistance. That's for sure. I'm only a plus uh, one. No, no. I am actually, oh, I, I'm proficient in it, so I can help you out. Hell yeah. I have I have the plus twelve, so I think we established that mine's it's better for me to roll the yeah, advantage right? Very yeah. much so. Very much so. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, None of your home turf too. I would take a big sniff around and I just kinda look and see all the where the grass is growing, how it's growing, and just <laughs> Oh my gosh. A twenty and a one. Oh, Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Let's go. Wow. Okay, well, if if I was a resistance frog, I would go this way. <laughs> we we know there's symbols too. Are you not a resistance frog? Well, I'm just saying that it, putting myself into that mind space that I actually am in as a resistance frog, this is the way that I would go. Oh, okay, I see. I see. Okay. I crack let a method act. He's good at it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... With a natural twenty. <laughs> I forgot your image on uh on the VTT radio is the the, the dual oh. Voodoo Rangers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw it come up. I was like, hold on here. What? Oh, I need to apply this in this side of the VTT. Put everybody's picture back. Uh. <laughs> oh man, it's not my choice. It's it's, it's really <laughs> not your choice. It's glorious. <laughs> With a natural 20. There have been disturbances since you've gotten to the swamp that have messed with communications. Everything has been fey touched into the extent of its darker aspects. The confusion, the spots that you used to know in the swamp just aren't there like they were before. Everything is kind of kudzu, overgrown. If there were markings on a tree or stumps in a holler, it would take uh, a natural 20 like Earl's to go find his, 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 his thumping spots. His hooch. <laughs> the old hooch holes, the hooch holler. But all of that considered, you are back home for the first time. And with those stakes being raised to where they're at and trying to find possibly the rest of your family members and community members, you set yourself straight. And you were confident as you've ever been that you're going in the right direction to 
described it where there might be resistance. I'm going to let everyone roll this stealth check with advantage. Let's go. Let's go. Pal will not be in the order. Uh, I'm going to make one NPC check and uh, that will be uh, with Dylan, who has the, oh, actually, no, uh, that will be with uh, Cousin Earl, who has a plus 22 now to his stealth. Let's go, Earl. Damn. He's got one higher than me. He's got more stealth than I do. I was happy about my 15. Dylan has 21. (laughs) You ready for the rolls or not yet? Go for him. Send him. Uh, I tried to add pass without a trace onto my token and it just does not work for me. Because you should just be able to drag and drop it onto it, right? Just you be. don't drag and drop. Uh, that's the Pathfinder way. This one, you select your token and then click. Sorry. But uh, I just put it on there for you. Is... Got it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm just... Okay, cool. <clears throat> you know, Thank just wow. redoing how you've done everything. This is okay. insane. These, look it's at these numbers. <laughs> I don't even know if uh, we can see us. <laughs> oh, okay. I see, let me. I see, it adds it onto our thing. Oh, I see how it does this. Okay. And then there's me. So if I take that off. It's still pretty dang good. There he is. <laughs> that, oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, isn't that nice? It just it shows you the new total there. The new af- after the fact. I was like, where did it go? Where did it add? And then I figured it out. <laughs> All right, Crack's got a 26. Cousin Earl's got a 34 representing our NPCs. What the hell? Let's go. 35. <laughs> Tarbin with a somehow he rolled disadvantage. Um, <laughs> that's also a choice. Uh, that makes sense. That, that tracks. Uh, because I, I, I'm assuming your stealth is at normal disadvantage. That's why? Uh, no. I, not that I see. I held the left control and it didn't do the thing. Oh, it did the thing. You, you Control is disadvantage. Shift is advantage. There you go. Somehow, you are are not, not with uh, the lowest uh, with disadvantage. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, I see why. Okay. Uh, you will take one of these, so I want you to flip a coin for me. Uh, and you're always heads, so 30 will be the heads. <laughs> it's like you don't even have to ask anymore. <laughs> it's at that point in a relationship where you don't just have to ask. You just know. I'm gonna come. <laughs> don't come. Don't come. <laughs> Good news. Uh, the be- the bad, the bad is only uh, you know three less, so twenty seven, uh, and then Akiko's thirty three. Oh, we're missing Marcos as well. Mm. <laughs> oh, Marcos! Another one. Another one. Uh, character sheet. Twenties. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And my uh, does not have me proficient in stealth, which I am, because there is water. So that would be a forty-three for me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this uh, plus uh, 43, and that would uh, that will cut off our low water mark, which I believe is Mr. Tian at 22. At 22. <laughs> I am armor. <laughs> I am armor. <laughs> this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Oh, this is absurd. Um, yeah, with an average of twenty five. <laughs> mm-hmm. See, guys, if you just if you if we walk on these vine edges, 
you can you can feel like there's a little bit of give it makes no imprint into the sand and you just kind of just keep walking on these little vine pieces throughout and that's how we can stay pretty dang stealthy make no noise and uh, don't leave any footprints I did that by the wrong number it's 29 it's all her so very good The 29 and a nat 20, you no longer have to make any of the other skill checks for navigation because you've nat 20 out of it. Let's go. There would have been a corresponding stealth check on each of those navigation rolls. Ugh. However, you have nat 20. So there will be only one roll made on this pathway. Oh my gosh. You guys have never been more confident in your maneuvers through the swamp. Exiting out of your cubby hole underneath the water. You guys have SEAL Team 6 the hell out of this. Leaning in to your friends in the swamp to navigate you as stealthfully as possible. It's one of those moments where you're kind of even in all of yourself. Carbon, you've picked up your head several times. You're the biggest thing in this water next to Pal. Yet there's just the kind of kudzu and gillyweed and a little bit of cattails that are stuck to your head where it's just the top of this bear, you floating with Pal through this, and there's almost no wake behind you as you've like, kind of like bear gatoring your way through. You guys are so stealthily, you're actually getting to observe the swamp in its current state. Anybody who wants to make a perception check or an investigation check for something in particular may do so. Oh. Something in particular. Well, I'm looking. I, uh, I know oh, exactly Mr. what I'm Gator. doing. Yeah, yeah I'm <laughs> looking for Gator. the uh, any signs or symbols for the resistance. Any markings? Any of those footprints? Anything? Um, yeah. That shows. Since you're leading it, are. I would have given you, like I said, uh, the markings and stuff. Right. 100 percent looking for that, that left it. footprint. Yeah for sure <laughs> i'm gonna keep my eye, eye out yep. for you know all sorts of mixtures and poisonous things things i can just <laughs> snatch along the way just like walking through back mine it's a mine, stealth mine. mission not a grocery shop trip <laughs> <laughs> it's always a grocery shopping trip <laughs> quartz cracks famous line everything could be a bomb uh yeah. if you want to make it <laughs> anyone can be a bomb with the right parts oh uh, <laughs> so fortuitous uh, go ahead and give me a bomb tinker roll crack. Ooh, okay. Not bad, not bad. With a 24. This time, uh, through the swamp, like, you were you were picking up everything like there's a you know a, a snake you've never seen that's swimming past you've grabbed that sucker and like on the way you like milk some venom you've scraped some toads like you pulled some plants up that obviously look dangerous uh you turn this into guys grocery games supermarket <laughs> sweet baby supermarket sweet yes i will allow you to copy a spell of your choice that uses poison from uh, your mix table oh okay um i will look at the mix table and see what's up that button just rolls it so let's find the actual table <laughs> all right i will find one hold on it'll take me a bit Ooh, i know which one that we will do um because this will fit the swamp um we're gonna use a combination of what Kazool does inside of Galadlaron. We're gonna make you a bomb that defiles the ground and obscures the air. 
So it's gonna look uh, a little bit like a mixture of Defile Ground and Cloud Kill. Okay. And Ooh. the part that makes this good is just like an aerial of Denial spell. They're not gonna be able to see each other in, but your allies can. And each time a creature takes damage inside of this defilement, you get to roll an additional D6 worth of damage oh, when shit. they get hit oh, inside of it. And it's one bottle of that? Yes. One bottle. What are we calling it? Uh, we will, we will call this uh, Swamp Bomb. One bottle of swamp bomb. And then I'll just put uh collateral on collateral on in uh parentheses. Yes, I will literally uh cloppy uh cloppy. Clop, like a brony. Clop 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 I will uh, copy that thing over uh for you. Cool. I totally butchered the spelling on that. <laughs> okay, Google, open up Google tasks. Everybody's mm -hmm. phone opens up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, D and D list. <sighs> Twenty one on your investigation check. Yeah, you know what? I think I will. I was debating about using a card, but you know what? I think I'll do is I'll do an end or a um. Uh, inspiration. I'll do a D8 on top of that. No, oh, dummy, mommy. Just an inspo. Just an inspo. Ooh, a good inspo. A little 26, sir. That feels good. 26. At first, you see nothing on the part of this journey. You're really just kind of trying to focus on getting your orientation right. And then you start looking for the telltale signs of stealth full traffic. You're not going to see the lily pads disturbed. The movement and markings of these folks are going to be hidden. And it's that first stump that you come up to and you brush back the fey and the kudzu and you see that left foot mark. Is that it? Is that, is that it? Inside the stump, there are supplies. There's a healing potion. You can see there's a couple of jugs of what look like purified water. There's a handful of bale wire simple tools survival packs oh shit I think that the resistance really is real look at this stuff I, don't, I mean I, I don't I'm inclined to just kind of leave it in case anybody else comes through actually needing it but oh hell yeah leave that's a bug out bag yeah that's okay any of this look familiar to you, Earl? No, but somebody knows what they're doing here. He's going to take the remainder of his bug juice and a couple of things from his pack, and he's going to put it in the stump. Somebody's going to need this more than me. That's so thoughtful. Oh, jeez, that's so thoughtful. Do I have anything? I don't think I have anything to add to it. I got this, and I put a dead snake in there. <laughs> hey, that's milks? good snake nice. meat. <laughs> I, okay, yeah, th there you go. It's good snake meat in there, man. Hopefully they find it soon. Well, okay, I, I, I feel like that means that we're at least on the right track. Somebody's out here. It might be somebody going solo dolo, but they're prepared. L looking around, does it 
I'm gonna I wanna do like a like a, a scan of the area. Does it look like anybody's watching this this spot? Does it look like there's anybody that's like keeping tabs on this this little bug out bag spot area? I'm gonna have you make a new roll. Okay. Mm. I love my question die. <laughs> unless it's unless it's all question mark die all episode. All the time. <laughs> Nothing but question marks. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> Let's see that I new roll. That text as well. <laughs> I don't see your new roll. Oh, you okay? You want me perception, right? Yes. Uh, and this will be advantage because of my steady eye because I haven't moved. Yeah. Okay. Is anybody watching us? What's going on around here? God, get oh, rid of these ones. Dude. Get rid of these dude. ones. Dude. Good googly moogly. 29. There are eyes on the swamp all around you. You understand that the snake men have their eyes on just about every inch of this swamp. But you don't see any resistance camping this spot out. So you just don't know. But the presence of your enemy is strong. And I I just, I want to say everybody has been doing really, really, really good with your sneaking. Because look, if you look over there, I'm pretty sure that's a gaggle of those John T. Snake mother truckers going around over there. So we just gotta, we gotta, we gotta just keep up this excellent stealth work that everybody's doing, and we'd be fine. But I, I don't see anybody else watching the spot, and um, that was really nice of you, Earl, for adding some good, good uh, bug juice to this place. Hopefully, that really comes in handy for somebody. And just trying to do my thing, man. Keep on keeping on. Yeah. Okay. Well, um. I guess we'll just keep going on this path. It it feels like we're on the right track, so we'll we'll just keep going. Anybody else? You know what? As I close that lid for for that little uh, bug out spot that they had, I I will put a little note in there that says, uh, Bud, uh, Bud and Pals Investigative Services looking to help. And I'll just put a little little note for that in there uh, to add to the... As your DM, do you want to be that specific? Uh... I, I do think so. I mean, like, we're, it, this is... This does, it feels like this is a friendly spot. We're adding this on air and I'm just, I'm just sharing that, that Bud and Pal are back. So yeah, I do think that I'm going to be ballsy enough to do that. No, drop your business card in there. <laughs> yep. Basically. We're going to get that free bog hollow lunch at the drawing for, uh, you know, once a month. <laughs> if everyone could please drop those noted emotes in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, chat. Way to make me feel real uncomfortable now. <laughs> uh, anyone else navigating in the swamp, choosing to make an investigation or a perception roll? Y'all might as well roll a perception. Come on, dude. You might get a 20. I was just looking at it earlier. I didn't see anything. Uh, I'm kind of charting our path so we remember how to get back. <laughs> <laughs> I will do a uh, I will do a divine sense at this location.
Good old divine sense. Yep. I mean, it's pretty clear, but I think it's just like you might try to like glean a little bit deeper and see if there's anything, you know, nefarious or something like that, you know, that maybe but go, hasn't seen. Go ahead and make your version of spell attack. This will be a d20 plus your charisma modifier plus your proficiency bonus. Uh, well, I should have just a spell attack, right? Can I just click it? I forget. Uh, okay, d20 plus my charisma. Do you not have a spell attack on your sheet? Uh, I do. Yeah, you're a plus nine. Yeah, so I'll just do a d20 plus nine because I thought I could just click it, but. Uh, let me drag and drop it on your sheet. That was the uh, that was the old sheets. This is the new sheets. Yeah, still getting that whole like you know. All right, spell attack is now in your active abilities. My active abilities. Do do do. My favorites. I will find it. I promise, chat. On your right oh, hand is. side, there you go is. to features and then the very bottom. There it is. Ooh, oh, a 19 oh, on the die. Oh, nice. A one or a 19. I also, I also will say, because I know I messaged you last week about this, but we never really got to it. Um, due to the inherent nature of my belief and the duality of poles from the above and below of both sides, I think he would also be looking to get a general sense of the power that, that's possible here i suppose which is probably immense but he's just trying to get a better grasp of that and i think that's something that the, the inherent draconic beast inside that's kind of always battling him is kind of pressuring to know and knowledge more has christian been to another plane of existence No, he's been to mm, possibly he's been to what he thinks is like a pocket dimension once, but it could have also very well have been another plane of existence. He's not really well traveled, um, but it was yeah. something that he was tasked to do. So he's probably probably unsure. <laughs> Haven't we had he to go it. to one via Akiko together? It was like a dream plane, wasn't it? Yeah, true. Or was that just a dream? Either way. Kidding. There's an expectation of the planes crossing in Boghalla in this greater fey corruption. This is as intense as you have ever felt a strong evil presence looming over your actual body. It's one of those where there has not been a moment where you haven't felt someone staring at you inside this swamp. It is intense and it is only growing. With your divine sense in a 28, there 
are creatures in the vicinity that have just as many heads as a hydra and are more dangerous. It is an intense feeling of extreme fight or flight. If you were not as educated in where you're going and doing it so stealthily, you know you would have locked yourself into another life or death combat. There are Fey touched Yon T, and there are abominations circled all around your current position. They are both under the water, on the surface, and in the trees. The time that it is taken to get to Bog Hala, corruption has almost completely permeated. I think um, Christian's probably just takes a second and as he's on one knee, his kind of sword is like pressed into the ground, um, his head's bent, um, but you can see kind of that familiar kind of blue glow that sheen in his eyes just kind of like lights up as he kind of focuses. Um, I want to do this because I'm curious. Noted. Um, and as, as, as he does, you, you kind of hear the breath kind of get a little ragged and you see him kind of shake his head a little bit um, as he kind of takes a deep breath in. And then he just, he just like looks to his right, kind of uh, a little bit past us, a little bit in the way that we're heading uh, to where this pool of murky water is. And he just says, whatever you do, avoid that. Something lurks there that is worse than what we fought. And Bud's right. Any slip up could be life or death. I think it needs to be said that there are entities all around us and will be for the entire time we're here. I can feel them and their power is great. Bud makes like a big frog gulp. Okay. And then he'll kind of stand up and he just kind of like stares at like the, the murky pool. And just for flavor's sake, you see a little bubble bloop, pop up out of the pool. <laughs> and then he yeah, just well, nods. He just nods forward. Avoid, avoid that. Got it. Okay. With a 19, you will get a solid vision. Of the most dangerous presence. That creature with multiple heads. Ooh. Oh God. Mm. You don't see the finer details you get more of a, not a complete silhouette, but almost kind of like a infrared or black and white kind of gray scale. Yeah. The imprint of this snake-like creature that is coiled with many poisonous serpent heads. That is, that's not something we would normally have in the swamp. I hate that's snakes. And Christian is just expressing that the hour is much later than we thought. We took time to take care of what we needed to. Now we need to pay its weight. Be careful for whatever we do. He nods to Tarvin, and as as the group picks up, he's going to wait 
and he's going to wait until he can walk next to Tarbin. As the troop kind of continues to proceed towards some destination, we don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> that way! And uh, as they do, uh, just quietly to Tarbin, you can feel it, right? Since the evil while we were walking on the lily pads before we met cousin. See nods his head over towards Bud's cousin, Earl. It's growing. With every yeah. hour that passes. Not one for regret, but we did what we needed to do back home before we came here. Places infested. Remember that conversation we had in your room? Starbin reaches up with a claw and pulls at that tooth he had that hangs still around his neck. I remember. It's yearning. It's clawing at my insides. It wants nothing but to devour everything here. I'm keeping it at bay. But I wanted to remind you I should I can. You know what to do. Darwin will stop and look at you straight in the eyes, square up with you. Christian, I have every faith. That you're stronger than this hunger. And that Goon Filer already knows what you are and what you want. I'm counting on you being here with us now in these moments to fend that off. I know what I need to do after what you told me, but I also know that you're stronger than this son of a bitch. And don't you forget it. He just stares back. And the one thing you probably would have noticed now is after we left the blue in his eyes have always kind of been there like typically it goes when he focuses or he meditates or he casts a spell you can kind of get that sense but something about this place and the power and the and and just the the flight or fight response that everyone feels has just got him on this edge and it's just this this it's not as potent as when he casts spells where he meditates, but it's there and you can see it and it's consistent and it is just ever presence. And you also feel as much as he can exerting that aura of the dragon in a protective manner, in a sense, as best as he can, but it pales in comparison in some regards to the power that's here. But he just stares at you for a few seconds and then he just gives a nod. I hope you're right. Robin will stop you before you turn. He's just going to put that big heavy claw on your shoulder and turn you back towards him. I don't need to hope. I know I'm right. You need to believe. You're right. He'll just drop that claw off of you and let you continue. He just takes a moment. Oh, Roshan, if you can even hear me in this place, be with me. You say that out loud? He, he mutters it. You probably hear it if you're turning. Roll a perception check with advantage, Tarbin. Christian, you roll a religion check. Can I burn an advantage? <laughs> 
Let's go. Let's go. Do we have an advantage? I don't even I haven't looked, but I'm sure we do. You want an advantage, I'll burn you an advantage. You got it. Yeah. I like Chateau by Tuesday. The, the latest the latest <laughs> news of how how terrible this place is. I'm like, hey, maybe you need a little religion. <laughs> you got your advantage. <gasps> oh, let's go! Hey. A 20 and a 19. What? I really think I need to say anything at this point. I think you know everything you need to know. <laughs> Keeper of the cards. Yes, sir. Please add a divine intervention. Nice. Noted that if Mr. Tian uses it, he will have advantage on the roll. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 huh, done. Well, you have an advantage card. <laughs> the presence of evil has only heightened your connection with the bronze dragon. Knowing there is quarry to hunt here. And that ever presence compelling notion to cleanse that corruption burns as strong as any itch that you've ever had Christian which comes to the question with the knowledge that you have do you try to surprise and hunt the query that you have discovered or do you continue to push towards the camp? Oh. 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 What would Christian do. What would you do if freedom wasn't free in Bogala? I mean, if you want to continue this conversation down the road for at least another 10 seconds to give you more time to think, after Tarman heard your muttering, he would just kind of shoulder check you as he started to walk by and go, I do believe Orishan is listening just as Ursa and Articus are listening as he looks to the heavens with a little bit of reverence. Bud just looks at Akiko and is like, oh man, that's really good that Christian spotted that out so we could just avoid it so we didn't have to like do anything. And that's like, <laughs> that was so nice of him. Like, gosh, what a, what a swell guy. That would have been awful. Yeah, that, that, did you see what that, that thing had so many heads? I know that it couldn't have been easy for him because being home like a bounty hunter like him and just having to expunge all the evil all the time that, that had to be easy he was easy pretty upset away. that he missed out on whatever you guys saw too so like yeah wow self-restraint i mean really just impressive <laughs> true bout of edging <laughs> <laughs> isn't that isn't that the truth <laughs> about oh. table i have to kill this thing we have <laughs> like what, what what are we doing by not doing it yeah in character so happy that we're just walking away. It was great. We both already turned our backs. So we're just like, man, whew, that was a close really one. How, <laughs> how long can Mr. Tian combat Edge? <laughs> that, is, that is the question, right? The power you almost died. This is looks surprise round on a boss of the swamp. Yeah. Swamp boss. Swamp boss. Swamp boss. Not no more. He looks, he looks at he looks at Tarbin. Do you feel their presence? Tarbin holds his hand out over the swamp. All around, of course. Can't pinpoint anything in particular, but evil is bound. Kind of looks up, hearing you say that. And you could, you just see, you see him just tilt his head slightly 
and you could almost make out a smile underneath as you see the eyes kind of flare for a second as he stares up into the sky and uh you see like some of that electricity just kind of lightly green off of his armor briefly and you just get this stronger presence as that connection's renewed we have to kill it and we have to do it now Charming feel, gives a big stretch Crap. I feel as if we wait it's going to show up at a very bad time I must now He's, while it sleeps he looks at you at a full lean with both hands on Caramel's bite and he just looks at Bud and Akika and goes mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> huh <laughs> I just kind of like is that one of those whistling spiders I haven't heard one of those in a long time. Barking spider? Yeah. <laughs> it's a barking spider. <laughs> and I think, I think, <laughs> I think uh, but no, I think I think with the uh, the connection and, and the just kind of the series of roles, there's this like wave that I push out, and it's probably the strongest draconic. Like if you were in the presence of a greater dragon, this is borderline what you would feel, not as intense. But you would feel it and you would just see me hold my sword out towards the lake and then and just kind of nod and then just nod my head yes i take back what i said akiko I, apparently we are going to do this um <laughs> let's get ready <laughs> and uh i think he'll, he'll kind of move towards the middle of the group and then uh yeah, I mean, you, you threw it out there as bait, Rob, and I'm taking it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'm just going to say to everyone, I'll get its attention when it appears. Strike. I, Isn't that the opposite of what we were doing? I, 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 the, the, I have reservations, but also I feel like, I don't know, you, you, you really haven't let us the wrong way in battle ever so i mean if you think this is the right time to do it I, i'm 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 down it sleeps it's dangerous and he glances up again and again you feel that wave that presence kind of come over you and if we wait an ill omen awaits it's now yeah well, one less bad thing running around in the swamp too and uh, he just kind of like looks to the group. Ready yourselves. Ready. Is it the only thing we see? Is just this? Not All right. Don't this. I, I have on I don't on, game, on that. Ready ourselves against what? On that note, you guys are choosing to go after the abomination. <laughs> we'll do that right after this quick break. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Brief messages. What uh, could go bunk? Story, man. Oh. Dice rolls, and you know what I mean? It just uh, it happens. I rolled know? so good. I rolled a 20. Let's go to fight something. <laughs> <laughs> just spit out some magic. Wow. Wow. Like, let's go to fight something. This wow. will be great. Thanks. Wow. You're doing it, Peter. I'll burp. <laughs> I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Surprise round on a swamp boss ain't no small thing. Oh, gosh. A full round of advantage actions. You have a lot of power. I don't want power. I wanted to go safely to our next destination. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go to the frog deli. <laughs> frog head. Bug meats and cheeses. See, chat, this is why I don't talk. Because when I talk, I convince Adam that he wants to fight things. <laughs> That's what Tarvin would do. A hundred percent. Can't say that it's not. Just playing the character, not playing common sense. Otherwise, I would have ignored all that and just kept walking. Two dunes at the same time, dude. <laughs> 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 
not where I thought I was going to end up. <laughs> no, I mean, 10 feet from where we were earlier. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's why I, like, I love this bar. <laughs> Officially created a divine intervention plus card. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. fun thing is y'all don't have to worry about it once you say you burn it i've got my uh my spread set up i can tell you what you burn in every single episode and uh who's got what available to them actually yeah um speaking of we we made an easy button well but we'll show it later <laughs> but you can see the cards inside the game now trivialize my work you you mother <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I learned something off of Instagram today. You can text yourself your flight. Dude, it's so cool. Just the, the flight number. Yeah. And it gives you the updated listing just like the boards. And you can send this to your friends as well. It comes yeah. up and it shows, it gives you the in-flight pattern and it does up to the date, even updates for like early or late tailwinds. It's the best. So you tag your airline. So if you're on American Airlines, double A, the flight confirmation, you send that text to yourself or your friends and it will pop up with the active information of your flight. Had no oh. idea. It, cre it creates a, a link that, that follows every all the, the tabs of the uh, the flight information when that's it's so dope off, when it's leaving uh, like you can you can watch it on the maps fly why is that not so posted cool. all over the airport instead of putting up a bunch yep. of like everyone boards. wants you to use each individual airline's little apps and yep. yeah that don't load half the time because hello you're in an airport <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, and pilots and, and uh, flight crew have been using it for years. With like Amanda somehow sits next to pilots all the time and she finds out all this crazy shit. It's hilarious. She also flies like every week, so <laughs> yeah. the, the, the odds are there. And the odds forever be in your favor. <laughs> Insane. All right, 45 minute sprint. Let's see what we can do. Hey, calm down there, backseat DM. <laughs> wow. I'm excited. Hey, I, I know you're excited. You know before it starts that if we TPK, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. I do not believe there's a TPK in our future. I have My faith. My going to be so pissed. Chill <laughs> out. I can't pull over any further. If we TPK, we still have a divine intervention we cannot use while we're dead. <laughs> it's true don't tell me the odds <laughs> no, hey you know what's gonna be great though that next campaign where the whole world's corrupted and you know it's like a <laughs> dark like you know we are the corruption yeah. Oh, yeah. Is we this attack the other campaign game yeah is this, is this that video game <laughs> the, the world continues on each time that we die we just spawn yeah. back into it with <laughs> It's Elden, it winning. Elden Ring into Dark Souls, Bloodborne. Yeah. Souls. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Great. Oh, no. Elden Ring is a We just go after Galadron. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to go use the restroom. We're going to do this. Oh, God. I'm not nervous. You're nervous. Ah. <sighs> It's terrible, but you know, I'm not nervous. I got a dragon god by my side. What are you talking about? No, I so like I really do think this is the smartest play, right? We have an opportunity to move a, a bad thing off the table, like 
as long as we yeah. carve it up to the point of where the uh, the snake people can't, you know, remake it. We're yep. good. Which we, we know that that's a thing, too. You know, <laughs> well, we so know, we know, we know we can avoid. do that. Yeah. Burn everything. I just hope that a whole bunch of other things don't come, but they probably will. <laughs> well, we did. You, we did establish that we're being. But watched. It's OK. We've got Earl. So honestly, like, you know, we're chilling. She and our onion knights level like 20 now i mean you know <laughs> she's she stronger everything. than us oh God, I did it again. all i, I could imagine oh, I was, was i did it earlier blood as leonidas I had to kicking someone into a hole i was so frustrated just felt right you know with the rolls <laughs> plus i feel like if whether we fight this thing now and we have the advantage or we wait it's gonna pop up at some point you know what i mean i forgot it's as long as you dismantle up. it and just I got so busy. Just how you get, do all the dis thing. How you get stressed mm. combat food. And how oh, you get to stress eat. That's literally I'm, what's happening. As soon as he's like, oh, I should find I looked over and like, oh, like I been doing it for <laughs> years. <laughs> I have protein. <laughs> Man, I really want to make my brisket nachos right now. <laughs> I just don't have the time. Jealous, man. I want brisket nachos. God, brisket. Brisket neck tacos in the morning. Brisket. Oh. That's, that's good. That's what, dude. Literally, that's what I'm having. I'm having egg whites and brisket and tacos mm. in the morning. Mm. I'm, I'm, mm. I, I got a new uh, tortilla press, so I'm making tacos. Mm. Uh, the, the tortillas in the morning. It's gonna be so good. I need Sounds an actual tortilla press. Yummy. I have like some cut <laughs> two by fours. <laughs> on a hinge i'm not even just kidding just pressing it down to make it, it happen works. that's a real tortilla press what are you talking it, about that is a real tortilla press built out of necessity just put the paper bags on either side mm -hmm. yeah that way it doesn't stick sanitary because the target bags are definitely sanitary absolutely <laughs> everything from target is sanitary just target <laughs> huh <laughs> beautiful absolutely beautiful <laughs> i really thought we'd get a little further than 50 feet in the swamp before we fought we got into hey, another we, fight we but found, you know what we we've traveled signs. for a yeah, we've been traveling for a bit. We found signs yeah. of the resistance. It may, it may have been like 15 minutes out of game. We found supplies. <laughs> well, like, I feel like we've been traveling we for a couple them. hours. You know hey, what I mean? You know like, what? It, it, big props to Earl for dropping uh, some of his bug juice into the hauler. I thought that and, was so sweet. Uh, and, and contributing. I, I, I thought, thought that he was, was going to was... drop moonshine and just be like, oh, yeah. no, that's for oh. me later. <laughs> Tell me between yeah. between oh, me and me and map. Earl, we drank all that shit. <laughs> he, def he definitely did mark it as another hooch spot uh, on his map. Yeah. For sure he did. Yeah. <laughs> Ice Rocker, that's an IOU. That's as good as money. <laughs> that's as good as money. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay. This is good as money. So I'm going to describe the mechanics of this event. You guys are going to have the opportunity to uh, frog team six this boss. Okay. You're going to get a surprise round. This means everybody gets an action and a bonus action. Extra strike card is not available in this event. Okay. Everybody's gonna get to go in this surprise round. Whoever leads off uh, will get advantage on their first attack. Okay. And then you need to finish the boss in this round. <laughs> oh, if, if you yeah. do, you assassinate the boss and you get away Scot free. You will murk it, and no other creatures will be aware of its presence. Right. If you do not finish the boss off within the round, there will we be consequences. Problems. I just, yep. I don't even know how we do that. Consequences or repercussions? Uh, are advan are all other cards available to play? Yes, uh, other, other cards are, are available, just not extra strikes. Uh, okay. And I'm, I'm sorry, I misspoke. It's not the just the first person. Everybody has advantage on their first. That, okay. I, okay. I, I, I misspoke. Everyone has advantage on their first 
attack. Right. So you don't if you're swing if you have multiple swings in your turn, it's just your first swing that gets advantage, but everybody mm -hmm. gets that first advantage. Yes. Mm. Got it. Including NPCs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh man, I have to pull up this map where I have this creature at. Cause this was not this was not in the cards yet. <laughs> this is not in the cards, but I'm I so to say here this for entire it. Entire session didn't quite go as a planned. <laughs> <laughs> we did start with a nat twenty from Malachi. But that's You're the not great wrong. thing about D&D, right? Is like rolls happen and like you just keep you just improv and keep telling the story. You may be you the know? DM, but I feel like we're doing a pretty good job in this show. <laughs> uh, He's like, let me just go ahead and pull that thing up I had for four weeks from now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You see a shady individual in the corner of the tavern who beckons you. <laughs> yeah, but what about the bartender? They look yeah, sketchy. But <laughs> it's like the bartender now. What's the bartender's you know? name? Where are you from? How many siblings do you have? It's just like. Did, did you see that that uh, um, reel or whatever that does mm -hmm. that? That's so. The good. people at Dirt League, yeah. Yeah, those guys are so funny. Oh uh, yeah. The door one was really good too. Mm. <laughs> Shout out to our, our boy Robert Hartley for commanding the chaos in uh, Viva Divert League. Uh, where did they go? We're gonna go out on. We did it, guys. We killed it. Like it lands. It's yeah. gotta be a good. Mm, that's fair. I'm just trying to think of like what's. My, I know what my what I should do. There should will be. Don't know anything about resistances or anything. Uh, yeah. Holding, I'm just worried um, about that. there will be no way to remove agency from the boss without them rolling a natural one or you rolling a natural 20. Mm -hmm. FYI, that is the yep. only way that any of those effects can be applied on a major boss. Oh, I'm just, I'm, I know what I'm doing, but I'm just scared that it's going to be like, <laughs> and you, and I'm thank like, God one of us does. I know that's the thing. <laughs> Who, who's going to go first? <laughs> I mean, the I'm dice okay. well, Christian first, right? has to go first, right? But I, I do feel like Christian probably is the one that has to swing first. I mean, look at him. He's, he's leading this charge. Yeah. As he, as he slowly, like step by step, you see him like wade into the water until he's like knee deep. Also, I'd really like to know if your lightning does anything or is anti-effective. <laughs> That's why I'm like looking at everything. <laughs> We're going to find he's, out real He's Charlie quick. Sheen in Apocalypse <laughs> Now right now. He's literally weighted up to eyeballs. <laughs> let, me, let me look at that icon again. What does he look like? <laughs> While I set this up, I want you to describe um, y'all sneaking as a team towards the biggest corrupted tree that you've seen inside the swamp oh, we, we can't go all at once right we we need to flank right we, we should we should flank right i can misty step to the other side of it oh so i can be completely behind it and then we definitely can, have it covered and pal can pal can be on your side with you he, he can get over there i mean he can't misty step with you but he he can get over there real quick and nobody knows where this guy's at. Oops. And you can you can ride in with with Pal, okay? You should get advantage too, but just it, it just because that's also a bonus action for me. Avoid so I can that tree. Still... And he just points over to like the far right, and he's just like, avoid that tree. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I'm... as you can just sense, like creatures there. Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on this tree over here and get a nice good <laughs> viewing spot. How about that? And then yeah, no yeah. spells that make noise. Got it. <laughs> You, you, you guys just go ahead. I'll, I'll hang back here. Yeah, that's I. I I'm you with forgot Crack. about entire creatures that make noise. <laughs> Crack and I'll we'll, we'll, we'll rain hell from the back line. How about that? But like opposite sides. No, hey, when we do fire, this, no. When we do this, everything you've got, don't hold back. And this is this is intense. I don't know if I've ever really put this much of a gamble on a single bow shot before, but I mean, oh. now's the time. Yeah. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this one extra sharp and he's gonna pull one of his bows out of his quiver and just start sharpening one of the arrow tips. Make this the sharpest bow I've ever shot, ever. <laughs> You cut yourself, take 1d6. <laughs> it, it activates the brambles. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the so shot, no. You're like, you're not too shot. Surprise round on myself. <laughs> I'm that sneaky. As you guys approach this great tree. The best tree. There are massive carven spots into the bottom that have hollowed out the base and you can see laid stone that enters as a passageway through the system of roots as you all successfully stealth your way towards this corrupted fortress the presence and the eyes of the Yonti are all around you. But you trust Christian that the sleeping giant is in the center of this tree. Using his divine presence, very hobbit-like, I would say, the blade glowing in front of you as you guys walk this first dark tunnel into the corruption. All right. Here we go. I'm not nervous. Don't be afraid. I can smell fear. <laughs> mm -hmm. Christian, you peek around the bend and you see the abomination in the center of this great tree. You can feel the corruption and fayness leaching out from this entity directly sending out that energy through the system of roots. This creature is solely responsible for part of this swamp being corrupted itself. It is that level of evil. I think uh, as we get to that point, uh, he goes and he turns and he uh, he puts a hand on Akiko's shoulder. When I strike, you need to be quick. You need to cut off his connection if you can. It's important. It's imperative. This abomination is part of the cause of all of this. I'm sure there are others before we get to Grimfiler. But if we can stop this, it's a major foothold. Slash it, hit it, turn the Wi-Fi off, save the swamp. Got it. I don't know what Wi-Fi is, but sure. <laughs> I can tell you what, we don't have it at this pizzeria. Um, <laughs> I need everyone to go ahead and make their roll for initiative. Jeez. <laughs> Guess we can take off past without a trace, right? Yo, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right click. Oh, God. My face. Where am I? Oh, there I am. It's a European shoulder bag. <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs> 12 <laughs> so many question marks 
Mm. All of the question marks. No! Mm -hmm. You got a question, I got an answer. And it's my sword. Yo, Dylan with a... What? Dylan with a nat 20? He will... No, he rolled an 18. It was Earl with the nat 20. Let's oh, go. Earl with the nat 20? Oh my god. Uh, He will... Uh, no, Dylan just has insane... No. What is that? Yeah. This <laughs> isn't even his final form. Oh, it's because of his alert. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, yeah, because I had mine, too. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, pal will go... <laughs> Lord. 14, 19. All right. Who... Uh, Earl is going to defer his 20 to the party. Who wants to take the 20? I think it would be Christian, right? Yeah. Kristen, he's he's sure. leading us. <laughs> Let's do it. Mr. Tian. Now register is a 34. Goes from last to first. <laughs> <laughs> Where he belongs. If you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> That's what they say. I want to go fire. Oh Hell, I was drunk. I mean, there's second and third. <laughs> Dylan still gets to go right after you. <laughs> All right. The order has been placed. Oh my God! No pressure. No pressure. Are no we pressure. able to uh, for dark. sneak and move our like put ourselves wherever we need to in the space here? Yeah, you guys need to move wherever you're gonna okay. put yourself, but you're gonna have to be in the center chamber somewhere. We are. I go where I always am in the front. <laughs> Oh, wait. Nope, nope. Feel a lot better with the gator near me. No crossing the streams. <laughs> God, please. All right. Mr. Tian. So Start us off. As uh, everyone gets into the place, and he just kind of sits there for a second. You can hear the, the subtle breath and hiss of this creature, the many hisses, almost like whispers in the entire environment around, kind of echoing in the chamber as it kind of sits there and rests. And he kind of looks around and he just gives a nod and he brings his sword up to his helmet and covers one eye. And as you see that blue begin to, to build uh, and, and shine through, as that electricity starts to, to whelm in and once again you, you feel this presence of this this ancient dragon force echoing out of him uh, as what better time than to use my channel divinity draconic breath and hope that this bitch is not immune to lightning <laughs> 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 and uh, I will and you just this is you feel it all around as, as he just lets out this roar this draconic scream that echoes from him and he and he blasts this laser of lightning straight into this creature as it sleeps and we'll click it and all right it will have disadvantage that's not gonna hit is. us right <laughs> nah no it's not <laughs> long enough all right. Disadvantage on the dexterity saving throw. Here it comes. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared. Oh, 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 Go ahead and roll that damage. Oh, yeah, Come on. baby. Come on. Eight. Lightning damage. It does oh, no. 19 points. <clears throat> as this thing <laughs> recoils, as the energy swirls through it, it is resistant to lightning. Uh, that sucks. Great. Noted. That <laughs> doesn't help with us needing to kill it in one round. You know. Hey, but you had to find out somehow. I suppose so. Uh, and then 
Oh, this is... Well, we're, it's a surprise round, so... As, as uh, yeah, as I unleash this, I guess I can do this too, because I just realized it's a bonus action. Uh, as I, as I, this lightning pours out and the creature, you know, gets shocked and, and electricity courses through it and it starts to wail and scream as it kind of starts to come to his senses. Uh, you just, you just feel that presence once again and it hones in and I am going to compel duel to have this creature try to lock in specifically on me and not notice anyone else in the chamber. Uh, Cause it's a bonus action. So like, why not, you know? Christian uh, wants to die if there's a round two. <laughs> I am a tank. So it's a DC 17 wisdom saving throw. All right. Witness me. <gasps> there you go. You've Galt. been witnessed. <laughs> Galtz. <laughs> like, oh, it worked. Oh, it worked. <laughs> and as as the as the the creature this abomination like you see all the heads kind of snap towards him and like lean in you again see those spectral electricity wings just kind of unfurl behind him making him a little bit bigger stronger larger in the, in the presence of whatever this abomination is and that's my turn god help us <laughs> god help us <laughs> Oh God, Dylan! Ah! I was gonna say Dylan has to go in between us. Ah! As much as you said go right after, it turns out Dylan's faster than me. Mm -hmm. I feel oh like my Dylan's God! Kinda, like secretes himself. Okay, like, <laughs> hey, Dylan's going. I'm faster, boy. He's gonna, he's got a spear. He's gonna let us know about piercing. He's gonna. He's yeah. gonna sneak attack. You know, he's got advantage. These are all good things to find out. Whatever else happens. <laughs> Here he goes. He's gonna he's gonna throw his spear as he uh as he does. Yeet Yeet in vain. Oh hold on here. He's got to uh He's gotta level up. Oh shit, that's oh. right. <laughs> yes, please he's level him up. Level up from the high he's gotta he's gotta level up. He's gotta go uh two more uh two more points in uh Swashbuckler Rogue. He's going up to a uh, level seven. <laughs> Oh my gosh. He's what a cool like a new Josiah. I love this. Well, that's what's going to happen. He's going to surpass us and be like, all right, guys, that was a good train. <laughs> I've realized what I want in life, and now I'm off to <laughs> you guys are not start it. my own campaign. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The student has become the master. <laughs> He's just, he'll just take our weapons from us, but no, 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 let me show you. <laughs> let me show you. It helps yeah, his health significantly. <laughs> Oh, the 69. Nice. Hey. Nice. Nice. Alright, he's got oh. it. Dylan's over there just like super saying right now. He's just <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Where are those where are those rocker intensifying chats? <laughs> we need those in chat now. <laughs> Oh, I don't even I have, have my some. own face. Okay. <laughs> I have some. <laughs> the well, power up. His, his Super Saiyan. It's, and next week on. <laughs> <laughs> the spear just like slowly gets recoiled back a little bit more, a little bit more. Well, I feel like this is Dylan's face though. Like when he does it, he's just like. <laughs> 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 just, I don't want to die when I show this. Please, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he will uh he will take this turn in just a second i promise uh, i promise I, you, you give him all the extra little levels come he on needs. you were ready for this weird ass combat <laughs> that we just <laughs> rolled our way into come on oh, crazy 100 percent prepared as always what can uh, i say except you're welcome, <laughs> you're welcome. thanks bro well there's what i'm looking I for so. Uh, by the way, I did not choose the resistances. Uh, mm. I found out the same time that you did. Mm. <laughs> cool. Likely, Likely story. Likely. It just <laughs> it just hates you. That's all. <laughs> just like not me. Every every single time, every creature. Oh, I'm telling you, Dylan gets <laughs> evasion. I felt the whole first half. <laughs> Dylan gets evasion and expertise. So, all right, yeah. let's go. Let's go. All I right. You get the vape. I'm like. Why? <laughs> it's not the vapor. Like your health vape. I'm proud of Dylan, man. He's come a long way. Sneak attack die though. 
Which from when, we first, mm -hmm. when you first found him in that room, cleaning up his <laughs> office. It's come a long way from potential uh, having his toes cut. Uh, oh wow, he went up even more. So he's ninety. He has ninety-eight hit points now. He's literally stronger than me. <laughs> Well, he is an onion knight. He's an onion knight. He's sure. a very Layers. boy. He loves his caramelized onions. <laughs> 98. Let's go. All right. He's up there with me and Tarbin almost. Jeez. All almost right. T for Tarbin. He's going in. Come on, 20. Come on, 20. Oh, it's right there. Uh, 24 hits. Noted. Okay. Still a high number. Let's yep. hope it's, you know, it's just... <laughs> Yo! Okay. Maximum spear damage, my dude! Let's go. We need everything we can because uh, mm -hmm. I only did 19 damage <laughs> to this creature. Is he close enough to get uh, Christian's Aura the Dragon D6 by, by chance? No, he is a spear thrower. He will not be up there oh man he rolls an awful sneak attack one two three five uh i will burn a luck card for him to get a re-roll yeah since you guys need every point that you can get is that going to him or you oh oh, oh. oh. that's much better but critical hits <laughs> oopsie poopsie like, wow, that was really good Huh? Okay. Okay. Two no. twos. Uh, <laughs> yike. Better. Yeah, you guys really need dim critties. 26 points of damage. How will piercing fare? That's what I'm, I'm, I'm very interested right now. Piercing like, applies. Looks like okay. it's applying. Okay. It's good for you. <laughs> that oh, means so all 13 yeah. of his sneak attack will apply as well. Okay. Okay. Noted. How do you want to do this, Onion Knight? <laughs> How do you want to do this? <laughs> Scales are not hard like the Hydra. Yeah. Okay. They are plenty Can of snake stop, belly to, to send it. Um, Since you need every point that you can get, he will throw his spear as a bonus action without. Yeah, um, didn't get sneak attack, but couldn't do another. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you need it. So, hey, 26 yeah, right, will yeah. hit. I'm proud of our little onion knight, dude. He's Ele so great. 11 points of onion damage. Onion. <laughs> He turns back and he looks at everybody else. It bleeds! It bleeds! <laughs> oh! Wild magic table goes off! Let's go! Oh, that's that's right. I don't know what else he does. Plus whatever else. Wild yes! Thing oh god, I hope him. it's good. So does that go oh, off on both good. or just the first one? Oh no. Oh gosh, this is scary. Oh, it goes off twice, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We need it. Or it's not. You know, it's Things fine. Can go wrong. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I'm gonna. Here we go. Uh, Dylan. First percentile die. Okay. Fifty nine. Nice. Was his previous hit points. So that's good. That feels. <laughs> that feels like a good omen. Call back. I'll take that. It's like you either want something beneficial or like you lose all your hair. <laughs> you know, it's just like a, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Only affect him him okay, truly. or affect the boss. Yeah. <laughs> oh god my head hurts oh, 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 it's filling me with all kinds of dirty th I'm just a dirty little coyote what are you, oh. he's got to make a wisdom saving throw okay. oh god uh, what the hell just happened oh when I was holding was my head, head I uh I, I yeeted the screen all right. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what in tarnation? What in tarnation? Okay, come on, buddy. You need to make a good save here. Good save. Wisdom saving throw. Not his forte. Oh. 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 Dylan. Oh. What happened? 
end. It's less than his forte. Oh, he takes 1d6 psychic damage for each magic item that he has. Uh, oh, He's got a spear. He has like one, we gave right? him a pot. He's <laughs> got a plus like, two what? spear, so there's a magic And he item. has an amulet of health. Uh, yeah. One, two. Uh, he has studded mariner's armor. He's got 3d6 against him. Where's this guy getting this stuff? We're not giving him. <laughs> we're, we're not paying him. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, and now he rolls great on his d6. Yeah, like, of course he does. <laughs> of course like he does. To you, thirteen damage to me. Everybody gets thirteen damage. <laughs> oh, he From takes sixteen points damager. <laughs> of psychic damage, and he rolls again on the table. Oh my head! Oh, not and that again. Thirteen damage. 30. 30. Healing word. Yeah. <laughs> you cast power words done. Oh, <laughs> let's go. All right. It's a good laugh. <laughs> As he clutches his head. <laughs> you see him, he's like, <laughs> he's pointing his spear up at the abomination. <laughs> Three magic missiles. Magic yes. Fly Let's go. forward. Let's go. Let's uh, go. He does 3d4 plus. Uh, and this. Plus three. Unless it's more. Ooh. Hey, we'll take any and all damage. There we go. There you go. Another 11 okay. points. <laughs> and uh, yes, they're magic missiles. They auto hit. Hey, let's go! Did I do that? Did I do that? I need to get migraines more often. <laughs> he just starts beating himself in the head. Oh, and this is a bonus attack, so he gets his sneak attack uh, on it. Oh, oh my God! God. What is with these garbage rolls? He can use a luck. He can use a luck card for that. Rob, I love that you're rolling bad right now, honestly. I, mean, well, I understand I thought, I thought... that Dylan's like kind of suffering right now for it, but I would like you to keep this momentum here in a minute. Somebody else would have to use a luck. He does not have the lucky. I thought, I thought your first one was a Marcos luck point. I, 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 never mind no. then, yeah. No, it wasn't. No, uh, if if you want Marcos card. to use one of his that? luck, can he can do one, that. Since he went right before me. Anybody can give him a luck if they want to. I'll, I'll give him a luck. One of mine. All right. He will re-roll. Keep the card. Kept. Much better. And <laughs> Two <be> more better. <laughs> points. <laughs> Let's go. Dude. <laughs> what a champ. God. What a champ. I need to go into configure settings and I need to go to core cards. and collapse cards on this. I am definitely miss that. Uh, collapse them cards. Where is it? It's new pooter. Who dis? <laughs> new, uh, uh, new pooter, new browser. Um, there's the canvas option. Is that, oh, it's in D and D options. Isn't Dungeons it? Dungeons and dragons fifth edition. Yeah. You just do a search for collapse. It'll pop right up there. There, there she blows. Well, it's very easy on the player side. I have about 45 options yeah, you, that drop down. A ridiculous amount of sections. <laughs> there we go. Let's go. All right. That's it, it, probably as good of a round as Dylan could have. Akiko, yeah. your turn. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Straight up going with a psychic glance right at this thing. Love it. Try the snake. And we're going to go ahead and kill the fifth level spot because yeah, we need it to be yeah. as much as Whoa, possible. Oh, doctor, yeah. let's go. Possible. And you get that advantage or he gets disadvantage or whatever. I guess he would just get disadvantage with the saving throw. Yes, this is a disadvantage on the okay. saving throw. Yeah. Let's go. I have no like idea me. how intelligent this creature is. Can I add to it? For nope. The card? God dang it. Well, you Yes! Oh yes! God. 20 and a 1! No. 20 and a 1! You have two rounds to try so to kill it. I, I got a round because of that. 
You get an extra round. This is the only way that you wow. could have gotten it is a nat one. Okay. Wow. 20 and a one. Let's That's go. Let's go. Oh, I saw the 20 and I panicked. Oh, I had to move my character too. sheet. I, I was so too. scared. I was so scared. I did too. All right. I was like, wait, no. Oh, God. Hit the uh, damage button. You're going to get maximum Rage damage on this. Got maximum Sorry. damage. Oh, that's so juicy. So max damage on this. This is um, 8d6. <laughs> so that's going to be points. 48 points of psychic damage. <laughs> Does nice. psychic damage apply? apply? Well, it has to, right? <laughs> it doesn't have to. It could be. No, it does not it's have to. Everything. It's doing the brain thing. It's doing it's the, the, doing the Wi-Fi. It's the router. <laughs> <laughs> it takes all 48 oh, points. Yeah. Yes. And it is. Oh, let, let's let's see here how I'm going to rule this on. Say, technically, it does incapacitate it, but I know it's like a boss, so I didn't know how that was going to. But I mean, technically, I guess it's incapacitating it for another is round. It's kind of incapacitating because you know? we get two rounds. All right. You guys will receive the advantage oh on your first attack in the second round as well. Nice. Yo! Oh, let's go! Dude, Eat rocker. It. Whoa, let's go! Oh. Oh, God, keep those rolls. You are the... You are the Rob, they're so good! <laughs> table, they're doing so table. good! Oh, you are the first person to get the five percentile roll on the boss. <sighs> oh my gosh. Yeah, nobody gets that. Nobody gets that. Well, in normal cases, mm. these are advantage rolls to get like right, it's right, right. so much better than the last fight where all I did was just bonk it and <laughs> just let go. Like, put Christian back down. Put Christian it. back down. Hold it. Wow. Anything for your bonus action? Um. Quick and spell. Well, I one. technically I uh, because I needed to. Well, does it matter? Did we just walk over here? We didn't have to like do anything crazy. Oh yeah, because she was. Because that was my it. bonus action. In Mr. RP, she was talking about Misty here stepping. Yeah. To get, because I didn't know how much. No, no, you were able to sneak up. So we're good. Yeah, okay. you, you still have yours. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like in these in this scenario, you guys are. This is a now a two round DPS check. I would use your I would use your meta magic to toss another cantrip on. You're literally yeah. just. This is a war of attrition. Uh, however, folks that are going up next can now think of like. Is there something else that could help stack and improve everybody's damage? Do right. you, you have a, it's a window, it's a small window, but if something can impact everyone's turn, now you're like, I'm thinking of bless along with like, right, right, right. I don't, I don't have any of those anymore. Uh, you're on your, your bonus action. So you're talking about just doing yeah, sure. quick and spell and throwing a cantrip. Yeah. Like I used to have bliss, but like now I don't do those things anymore. Oh, he was just saying for uh, everybody was, else. Yeah, there. I was talking about um, Marcos. So if it's soft, would fire be a good idea? I guess to figure out what it. Yeah, I would stick with I would stick with known good things. If if you well, have an ability I could to. Do... Like a firebolt. Oh, it's effective, actually, no. Because I can, I can do. I'm gonna do another mind sliver. Yeah, I, I would stick with it. Right now, we, we're in a DPS check, so I would stick because, with anything that you know it is sticking full damage. Uh. Do, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think that's the smart call. All right. Because it affects its next saving throw if it doesn't make it. Oh. Oh, it will succeed. Right. Go Just ahead and uh, toss damage. It'll take half damage. Good roll. Still. He did a little bit. Yeah. Whoops. I didn't mean to hit that. That's Make not. an assessment. <laughs> Sorry. All I'm right. To open the mind sliver. <laughs> Crack. So as as uh, Kiko did the first mind uh, lance crack was loading his his bow he's tuning the, the the fire arrow and he looks up and he sees like that the the 
this this abomination is just a little bit more wobbly on its feet and crack is now no we're going for the big boys and he's gonna roll on the table yes oh it doesn't roll from there that's weak all right come on come on come on come on does he get Um, well never mind that didn't work uh roll on the table where's my roll button there it's there's one. And then for the second Acid one. damage. Bro, how did I get this again? <laughs> Yo, haste. Haste is pretty huge. Haste yeah. is huge because we got no extra strikes right now. So you give somebody that many swings. I oh give Tarbin, God. Tarbin, I two rounds say, of it. I going to give Tarbin just swings on swings on swings on swings <laughs> uh, <right. laughs> uh yeah, and i will oh, it'll only consume your bonus action to eat the potion because you are an alchemist so you can mm-hmm. you have full action economy in bonus action when it comes to Potions concoctions. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I put that. Am I on the board here? In relation. Oh yeah, I'm close enough to Tarvin to yeet it at him. I don't even like say anything. I just yeet it at, hit him in the back with it again. <laughs> <laughs> Tarvin. Used to it at this point. <laughs> You are now hasted. You have a, a two to your AC uh, advantage on yo know, saving throws for a minute, and you're going to be able to take your action twice. Oh my god, that's huge! <laughs> that's so ridiculous. Ning ning ning. Action for crack. Crack will then shoot his bow. Uh, do you want to add the acid on top of your uh, whatever you're shooting? Uh, yeah, I'll add the acid on top of my fire, so it'll be flaming acid. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Metal. <laughs> That's so crack. <laughs> so 31 probably hits. We will... So it was, the acid was an additional 2d6 plus my intelligence. Ooh, okay. Let's say the day increases to 3d6. All right, so 3d6 plus intelligence after this. Go one, two, three. Plus my int is five. And he's a smart goblin. And that's the acid. <laughs> and then the sneak attack. Oh, I forgot about that. Yes. Why did it, why did it do that? Huh? Oh. Oh. It will fail its save. It's going to take all the damage. Now, your sneak oh. attack, you get to choose. Do you want that uh, sneak attack damage to be fire or do you want it to be acid? Oh, no. You have to decide so why soon. Why'd you ask that? <laughs> That's suspicious. Uh, seeing as he is a snake, I will go fire. That's a smart call. That's what I would have done. All right. And also, fear of the small. Yeah. (laughs) Also. (laughs) All right. Let's see the first bit of fire damage. It is resistant to fire. Of course it is. Of course it is. Is it resistant to acid? It does 17 points on the acid. And it is resistant to acid. Okay. Mm -hmm. So either way. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. Lightning, fire, acid, all resistant. And then did you get the Fury of the Small, my four points? 
And uh, all the fury of the small. Take it. All right. T for Tarbin. Doctor, let's go. Big Bear. Um, Tar Tar Tarvin does what Tarvin does. He just, he, <laughs> as, as you see him with Caramount's bitness, he unsheaths it with both hands. He gets down to that Superman crouch and squats down, looks over at Christian, gives him a wink, and with those uh, spider boots, jumps up into the air and at his target with full velocity. And he's in an air, you can see him conjure something with his hands is i'm also going to cast hunter's mark on him as well oh let's go nice extra damage gotta love it yep every ounce every ounce we need Come, it Maybe coming I in be a ranger so i could do a hunter's mark <laughs> <laughs> so it's really the only thing you're missing i mean come on we just add that in there. what would you do, do? all right coming in with caramel's bite 21 to hit. 21 does not hit. <gasps> oh. 21, no hit. Um, all right. Well then um, you know inspo. what? I'm, I'm I'm gonna throw a D6 inspo on top of that. We know 24 hits. Yeah, that we do. Making sure I got all my uh my stuff burnt off before I uh start getting into that. No. Oh my god. Does the 22 do it? Does the 22 do it? 22 is the AC. Oh, yes, we oh, found the oh, AC. It is 22. <laughs> 22 the hard way, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. oh, it's the hard way. Let's go. Just my hands are sweating. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you'll do the damage on this. Then you're going to do attack with out advantage. Then you get to do a new attack with advantage and a second without. Jesus Christ, uh, Lathander, please give me one step uh, at a time. I'm a, I'm a simple man. Uh, and then that also will incur my Hunter's Mark. And I should be able to consume that with no spell slot. I thought the uh, Hunter's Mark is the one to, or no, I forgot. That was the inspo. Got, oh, God. Yeah. No, no, it that that also, throwing 1d6s, ones all day long. And uh, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to compile on top of that some, uh, some Divine Smite because I need to smite them. Absolutely. I need it. I need it. I need it. Fight him with the light. Right. It will take. All of the slashing. Good. Slashing it will device. take the one point of Hunter's Mark because it's also slashing as well. <laughs> and Radiant. It takes all Radiant damage. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. you also get that. You get an extra D6 of uh, lightning. Yeah, anybody that's in <laughs> melee range gets the, uh, the D6 of lightning. Do I get any... Uh, any concussive damage for uh, jumping in on uh, homeboy before I throw this? Concussive damage. Well, yeah, I literally leapt into the air. No. Ten feet. Okay. Let's, tr let's try. Hey, pull it for it. Hey, there's something that's not a one for my uh, my two, lightning though. damage. Two points of lightning. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, so. All right, you going great weapon master on your second attack? Uh, second attack, uh, no advantage. No, I'm not going to go great with Master on that. Um, no, no, wait, wait, wait till, wait till swing number three for that one. <laughs> Ooh, 25. Yeah. Yep, I'm glad I didn't do it. No, is that solid. Does that also get Hunter's Mark damage as well? Mm -hmm. I, I, I forgot. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. yeah, anytime with Hunter's Mark that you do damage. There you go. And smite. Yeah. Because this is what we do. This is mm -hmm. what we do now. We I are. Gotta burn them. Smoke them if you got them. Not a better are, time. <laughs> we are smiting as, as much as we can smite. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know why I threw it twice. That was not right. 14 okay. was the first number. 
Yeah. yeah 14, it, 14 was the first number. It? Yeah, just for some reason it stacked it on twice. <gasps> Don't look at me like I know what's going on here. <laughs> there was the. <gasps> oh, yeah. Why did that happen? Oh, no. Make sure to look at your thing, Starbin. Uh, let's see here. 3d8. So we're going to 3d8 plus four. It is nine, 10, so 14. Smite me, holy smiter. Go back up and check that other smite. Because I did one third level and this was the second level. Yeah, the first one rolled right. Yeah, this right. fight was regular. Yeah. Huh. Second level. Third level. <laughs> Everything seems to be copacetic. All right. <clears throat> All right. So now that we have advantage, we'll swing again. <laughs> Do it. Great weapon Do master, it. I assume. Yes, this is this is where we throw a vow of enmity. Right, that's a bonus action, and I used Hunter's Mark to do that. Ah, uh, you did, you did. I did. I, I, I trust me. I'm, I'm stacking all these things in my head. You've, <laughs> you've taught me well. I've literally got a check sheet sitting in front of me right now. Ooh, that would have been advantage <laughs> for both rounds on all attacks. You know what? I'm, I'm okay with the way it's set up right now. <laughs> Twenty-four it hits. Perfect. Let's go. Get that great weapon master damage. Um, I'm dishing it all out. I got. I've, I've, I'm literally just going down my click list right now. This is <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever. I'm so happy to be in Boghalla. Oh, yes! there we go. There's, There's a, a max. max. Let's go. There's a max. Then, uh, nope, nope. I don't it want that one. I want. Not bloodied yet. Oh God. Oh God. Good thing we have two rounds. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Truly. Smite, yeah, yeah, smite, 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 smite. I've only had one crit hit. Ugh. Yeah, Ugh. Well, we're fishing as best as best we can. All right, this is your last swing. Yep. All right, great bluff masters <laughs> coming off on this one. We're swinging regular because I know it's this. This one's not advantage, right? Not advantage, right? Yeah. Nice. nice. Twenty-seven. All right. Still in this game. Have bear will roll. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. champion! Yeah. champion. Yeah. Yeah. Went from one Great one weapon fighting for ones. the win. <laughs> I love that. Piece at a time, my friends. Piece oh, at a time. Oh. Good. Uh, yes. And the smile. I love it. You can't ask for a hurt. better Tarbin turn than that. No. Let's go. That feels good. Uh, it's a lot of total damage. Yeah, just still not bloody. <laughs> uh, wore out. <laughs> still not bloodied. Oh. Ooh, we're not halfway there, and we still have uh, oh three to go. We still got. It. Yeah, I'm. Earl All right, Cass. guys, it is 111, so we need to do uh, this yep. as quick as uh, possible so we can let folks, folks go, go to bed. Uh, okay. Um, can I... We haven't done this before. Psychic energy that has been thrown out. Can my bow pick up that energy? It cannot. Rule... Okay. It's not elemental. Got it. Elemental. Right. All right, so let me change that back to, we'll just stick with lightning because it's everybody's friend. Uh, Radiant's been out there, bud. Yeah, Radiant, we said is not uh, an option. Are we saying that is now? Oh yeah, because it's not uh, not elemental either. Yeah, 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 element, yeah, yeah. My bad. It's divine. My yeah, bad. It's all, it's, all, it's all good. I'll take it from you if you want to give it. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'll, uh, I'll line up a shot and I will uh, shoot with sharpshooter at advantage. Oh, we just got hit with a uh, with an ad. Shit. Yeah, I was just, yeah. yeah. Uh, 
I missed my I, that one. I missed my button because I was lost in the sauce. Jeez, Adam, where were you? Where were you, Adam? <laughs> I'm sorry, God, Adam. I got what the you. hell? That? Start the paragraph. Also, I, I realized that Tarpon, you would have had one extra D6 if it, it counted as a new round because once per oh, round, you I, get that I, for the lightning. Go ahead, roll it. Oh, okay. I thought we were pausing. Got it. Boop. Whoa, no, whoa. no, I'm I'm telling. <laughs> I'm telling Tarbin's D6. Yeah. yeah. There's your, there's your three points lightning, so it's uh, two one, points. One damage. One, one point. One, one damage. It's all right. We're going to keep that roll. Yep. We'll They're going to be back here in just a second. It's only a minute and a yeah. half. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, what do you guys want uh, Marcos to do while we're uh, while we're waiting? Big damage. What, what's yeah. the biggest yeah. bomb he can drop? He, he's well, got usually he's bolt. having to heal us. This time he doesn't. He can just throw I mean, his well, shit around. Well, really good. I think inflict wounds might be really good because uh, that's necrotic, though. Uh, true. I would. I would. I'm leaning towards guiding bolt because it's radiant. We know it all applies, and he can yeah. upcast it to, I mean, to big know, damage. We know it works every time. Yeah, well, you guys are. You're being awful trusting of me and guiding hey, bolt in this scenario. He's, he's got advantage. advantage. He's got hey, advantage. Hey, hey, ask yourself this question: What would Marcos do? He's got a. He's, he's got a. He would. These... He would toss guiding bolt, and he would miss. Um, <laughs> even with advantage, <laughs> if you want to know what. Uh, no, I mean, I always believe in myself. Uh, look at your spells here. We got uh, doop, 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 doop. I mean, is there a fifth level circle of f you in there somewhere? <laughs> Inflict wounds is 1d10, but it is a touch. Inflict uh, wounds is the, the biggest dog. By yeah. far. We just don't know if it applies. Yes, on necrotic. That's, yeah, that's the gamble. Uh, mm. I would go ahead, like you guys said, and I would toss a fourth level um, guiding bolt, and I would save his fifth level uh, for mass cure wounds or, you know, not making it. Yep. I like it. That's how I always do it, to keep it there. I would agree with that. All right, go ahead, bud. You've laid down the line. 27 hits. 27 hits. Okay, great. Uh, so we're going to do damage with that. Good roll. Uh, that'll be a quiver of... Oh, this will be piercing. So an additional nine points of piercing. Nice. And a sneak attack. Nice. Good am roll. I happy with all of those damage rolls? I would say I am. Yes, I'm not gonna reroll any of those. Uh, so that is action. Um, uh, what's the saving throw? The con saving throw is on it, what? Is on it's on the quiver. Uh, so I I switched it to spring. Um, so it will fail. Yeah. Okay. We'll 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 circle back to that if it matters later. Um, All right. So there's the lightning. It takes half the lightning. It takes all twenty one of the piercing, and then the sneak attack down here that. Uh, Likewise. sneak attack is piercing for you. Yes, it is. Um, I'm, I'm just going to bonus action, shoot the bow again. Um, I, I don't, I'm not going to get advantage, you know, but I got nothing else to do damage on my bonus action. All right, go for it. Uh, so this is flat roll. Do I need to do anything special to, to reduce the, the strike ability of it? Or it does the same damage amount, right? Yeah, just do the thing. Okay. I see. Oh! Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Oh! That is horrible. He enters a stratagem. He moves his 20. Yes. Where's my stratagem? Oh, that's so horrendous. Uh, Let me click this sad damage button. Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Here. I'll just, I'll, we'll just see what the sneak attack critical would have been. 
Do you really want to do that to yourself? Of you... course I want to do that to myself. Are you kidding me? Mm -mm. Oh, I'm not even doing it right anyways. Whatever. Uh, there you go. It is a crit, so the lightning... You rolled double ones on your crit lightning damage. Uh, oh, okay. I have I have piercer feet, so I will re-roll those. Uh, yes, you do. Um... Nice. I don't have the. There's no easy roll, right? Nope. Just roll two d sixes. Okay. Oop. Roll. Better. Oh, much better. <laughs> oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> yeah, you want it on the big boy. You do. Yeah. Hey, you know. How Blood is pouring from your arrows that have entered the abomination. Quick. We'll send Pal in. He's got blood in the water. Pal will do quick things. Uh, blood in the cut. Let's go. I eat a little blood in the water. Fight <laughs> attack at advantage. 26 will hit. Great. Nice. Uh, crack and tail swipe. Bonus action. 25 will hit. Boom. Ooh. Nice and quick. Ooh. Damn. 19 damage. 18 damage. Okay. Glad I started this off with like one of my coolest abilities and did the least amount of damage. <laughs> hey, you know what? You led us into this, so don't measure up like that. Sure, sure. It was everything. Cool. Everything that happened after that first strike is all you. Just cascading. all twelve of the bludgeoning applies. The acid nice. is halved. Yep, that sort of mm -hmm. that makes sense. Cracking slap. That's uh, Button Pal's turn. Done. And on his bite, all 19 points apply. Let's go. Marcos. <laughs> Guiding Bolt, baby. My Coming number in. one most successful spell. <laughs> as I'll create that Radiant Lance and we're... Yeet. Shoot at advantage. Now's the time. Fourth level guiding bolt. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Light my fire. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Here, here, here is the advantage. The advantage. Yeah, I was gonna it, say. it misses. Oh, oh my God. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> That's just nutty. Just a okay. Oh, we, do got I... we got cards. We got cards. <laughs> D10. Is it? Is it really? Is it? You're, you're three. You're four away. Yeah. Oops. I, I didn't mean to click that. Sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I meant to click this because I was like, "What's your your?" I'm a plus okay. eleven. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> uh, all right. You're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna do a D10. Yeah. Uh, D10, just... Bert. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Make it happen, Captain. Oh, four is what you needed. Let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> four is what you needed. Scraping by. Wow. Bye. I'm going to use a, I'm going to use a. I, I debated about doing that for mine as well. I, I really did. Well, I know what you're thinking. Fish for that 20, dude. Do it. You got the Here's luck. the deal, but I'm going to do the luck just on the one. I'm not going to re-roll the... Not on both dice, exactly. I'm going to use one of one of my three and eight lucks on just the one die to see if I throw a 20. Just, yep. I, I thought about doing the same damn thing. <laughs> Why like, not? Well, oh, it just, just dance on the face. screen like that. Mm. All right. I have to know. I have to hurt myself, too. Okay. All right, I can live. I can live. I didn't get it. Uh, God, that would have really hurt my soul. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, here we go. Damage. Yeah, baby. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. I get one, two, three, four. Oh, three rolls. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Much, much That's better. better. Uh, so that is two, four, six, seven. So that's 12 plus 18. So I do 30 points of radiant damage. Nice. That's big. All right. Um, here we go. Here is 
Uh, Tian, you have it. You'll have advantage on both of your attack rolls. Fuck yeah. Dope. Uh, from the guiding bolt. Do for the money. Two dunes at the same time, bro. <laughs> this is what we're fighting for. Uh, okay. His bow is gone. Uh. Bonus action trident, right? He left it. He left it in the stash. <laughs> oh dang it! I will. Uh. Just roll Dylan's because he's got the plus two. He, they the have the same. Plus. Yeah. Uh, so D- Dylan <laughs> via Cousin Earl. Hey, can I borrow that? <laughs> Let me borrow that, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, wow. Just oh. hits. There yes, you go. let's go. Oh, just yeah, hitting yeah. it. Armageddon it. Oh. He's so strong. <laughs> strong. Bada bang, bada boom. And his single bonus action Oof. misses. Oh, All right. Top of the round when we come back on Monday. You guys have a bloodied abomination. Will you be able to finish it off in round two? We'll find out. We'll see you guys next, next Monday. Monday. Special session. Love you guys. See you, Pax. You might see me.